Blessings to everybody. My bad, old man. I was trying to go live and YouTube was hindering me. I don't know what happened, but I'm finally here. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me. I'm going to give you guys some time for everybody else to get in. But how you doing tonight? I hope you're doing good because I'm ready to teach. What's going on, Joshua? Blessings to Goldie Turf. What's happening, man? Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button when y'all come in. You already know the devil was trying to come into this game, man. <laughs> Got an arm in the suit. No. What's going on, Michael Edwards, man? Blessings to you. Mr. Redskin, what's going on? The third one. Mike, what's happening, man? Play a D. Sugar, what's happening, man? Reno. Hold on. Hey, baby. Said I'm looking good, baby. I appreciate that, my nigga Ken. What's going on, little bro? What's going on, DJ? Seco. Marcus came up in here. Blessings to everybody. Make sure you share this. I know it's late for a lot of you. You know what I mean? I know that, you know, a lot of people got to get ready for work. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people got to sit up there, man, and get ready for work, man. So I ain't, I ain't even tripping. Some of y'all getting ready for work. Some of y'all already at work. Some of y'all sleeping. You know, but as you come in, make sure you hit the like button. Come on in and hit the like button. Some of y'all are already familiar with this message, but as you know, it was taken away from us, so I had to bring it back. Plus, it was questions from my DM today that made me want to uh, definitely resurrect this message. But come in and hit the like button. Come in and hit the like button. Come in and hit the share button. Come in and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell if you're not, you know, I mean, uh, if you don't get the notifications on time, make sure you hit that bell. Don't just subscribe. Hit the bell as well, because a lot of you, you're clicking on subscribe, but you're not hitting the bell, and you're wondering why you don't get the notifications when I go live. But make sure you do that. Yeah, I already explained that, bro. And, uh, you know, no excuse. You know, uh, whether it be YouTube, I never make no excuses, whether I got to preside over one of my students, or whether it's a technical difficulty on YouTube's part, it's still my fault. You know what I mean? I, my bad on that family. I should have been here uh, 23 minutes ago. Let me see. Well, I appreciate, man, you thinking about the money and things like that, but the money will come. The money will come. You, you, won't, ever, you won't see me in videos and things, you know what I mean, talking about money and, and things like that. I'm just asking you know, for you to listen to this game. That's my main thing, to listen to this game. I am watching a throwback video. Here you come with some more. Uh, man, Fat 10, hello, game. Appreciate that, Mr. Rogers. Man, appreciate that uh, dead lifeline. You know what I mean? Okay, peace. But I want to, uh, before I get a little bit into uh, my message. I want to teach you guys some things because some of you have been watching my videos and because of the information that's being conveyed within my videos, you're feeling inspired, you're feeling compelled, you know what I mean? And you want to, uh, you know what I mean, start doing things, you know, and I got a lot of young people watching my videos too. So I want to give clarity, you know, on things. I've never encouraged anyone, bless us, Tony, uh, bless his razor. I, I never encouraged any young man or any old man for that matter to participate in a lifestyle that can lead you to a correctional facility where you can lose your liberty in society and your family got to make visitation, sometimes looking at a TV screen to talk to you. I've never encouraged you to do that. I wish people would stop lying. You know, I mean, I've never encouraged you guys to be a pimp. I've always taught that this game is so impeccable that it's applicable to any lifestyle that you endeavor to live. 
as you know, the haters is in here. But you know, I mean, well, hate is love still yet abide. Hit the like button. It's almost 200 of you. I'll go ahead and hit the like button. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I mean? And, and it's me. You know what I mean? Whenever I ever gave you a weak live, whenever I ever gave you some weak game, whenever I ever gave you something, you know what I mean, that was corny, man. It's sinful to pee. Hit the like button when you come in. Come on, man. Hit that like button. Hit the like button and hit the share button. KC, I don't know whether you're a man or a woman, so, you know, uh, I don't know whether to accept that as a compliment. If you're a man, you know, you finna get blocked. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you're a woman, you know, blessings to you. Uh, but I want to say to you guys that I never encouraged you to participate in a lifestyle that's contrary to the law. Okay. I've never compelled you uh, to participate in anything that will take away your freedom. And by the way, if this video does any buffering, make sure that you click out of the video and come right back to it. So if it starts buffering, just click out and click back in, you know, because when I'm on my phone, it does buffer. Uh, but, you know, I never encouraged any of you guys to be a pimp. You know what I mean? Never. Let me make that very, I've never encouraged any of you to be a pimp. But reality is, even if I tell you not to do something, you still going to go out there and go do it. So with that being said, I'd rather for you have, I'd rather for you to have the uncommon information and exhortation that's needed to participate in the lifestyle correctly, accordingly, and wisely. You know what I mean? I'd rather for you to listen to what I have to say so you won't be in nobody's jail, so you won't be in nobody's prison. You know what I mean? I, I, I'd rather for you to listen to this, you know what I mean, to my history so you won't have to repeat my history. And I keep telling you guys, make sure because I want this video to be liked because I want it to be recommended. It's not that it ain't going to bring no more money to my pockets. I need for you to get this video, this information out there because there's a lot of people that's being misinformed. It's a lot of people playing on the minds of individuals as if they are, you know what I mean? Uh, is that my little nephew? You know what I mean? Uh, they just came in here. Or is that somebody with the same name? But I think that's my nephew. Uh, but a lot of you, you know what I mean? You watch these videos and you're going to other people's videos and you think that you're supposed to be a pimp. Okay. You think that you're supposed to be a pimp. And I want to tell any young man right now, you know what I mean? Leave it alone. All right. Leave it alone. Leave the pimp game alone. It's going to lead you. You know, most of you are not going to have a mentor. Most of you are not going to have the game. You know what I mean? You're not going to uh, have the experiences that some had. And just because God was merciful to one individual, it doesn't mean that he's going to be merciful to you. Just because one individual was able to get away with something, that doesn't mean that he's going to allow you to get away with that. In the day that we live in with the laws that we have, you can make one mistake, and in that lifestyle, in the lifestyle of pimping and on, I want you to understand that one mistake can cost you your life. One mistake. God has favoritism, and his favor is towards those who he want to give his favor to. So, you know what I mean? Uh, just because God was, you know, show favoritism to your father, just because God showed favoritism to your mother, that does not mean God is going to show favoritism to your ass. So to all the young people that's listening to me right now, I want you to understand that, yes, I've made a lot of mistakes, but the hand of God, the mercies of God was abiding on my life. And that's why I'm here. I'm not here because I'm so intelligent. I'm not still here because I got so much gain. I'm not here because I had so many great mentors. I'm not still here because, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, so lucky. I'm here because he ordained for me to be here. 
okay? It was predestined for me to still be here. His favor on my life, that's why I'm still here. But just because he was merciful to me and had favor concerning my life, that don't mean that he gonna be merciful to you. Young people, a lot of my videos are entertaining. A lot of my videos, you know what I mean, are informative. But just because the videos was informative, it was entertaining, that does not mean for you to get the information and think that you're going to do some participation in the location of the street and think that you're going to be able to be successful doing the same thing. It don't work like that. If it's not in you, you need to leave it alone. OK, now, if you look, which I'm getting ready to edit right now. Hold on. Give me a second. So this title uh, can be right. There we go. Oh. There we go right now. Now I'm editing the video so you can see the complete message because I couldn't do it all the way on my phone. But if you refresh it, you'll be able to see the whole title now. You know what I mean? But I want you guys to know that whenever something is in you, you're going to manifest that. It will be manifested. The spirit of tricking. As a man thinketh, so is he. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you before I get started, you know what I mean? What is a spirit? Because I'm getting ready to speak upon this tricking because a lot of you think that you know, uh, you can go from a trick to being a pimp. And because these guys are only interested in money, they will manipulate you into thinking that you can go from being a trick to being a pimp. And I want you to know that you cannot go from being a trick to being a pimp. I don't care whose book you read. I don't care what class session that you sit in. I don't care who lied to you. I want you to know that you cannot go from being a trick to a pimp. So many people are money hungry that they will manipulate you into thinking that two plus two is uh, five just so they can make one dollar. I'm not going to do that. I'm responsible for this game. I'm a watchman of this game. I can't do that. You know what I mean? I can't lie to you. I can't cause you to think, you know what I mean, that what you're doing uh that you can read somebody's book and then after reading the book or attending somebody's class, you can go from being a trick to being a pimp. I'm here to tell you that that's a lie. I'm here to tell you that that's false information. I'm here to tell you that you've been manipulated. I'm here to tell you that whoever told you that doesn't care about you. They don't care about you at all. You know what I mean? At all. You know? Instead of asking questions, brother, just sit back right now and enjoy. Uh, but I want you to know that, no, you cannot go from being a trick to being a pimp. And I know that, you know, there's certain famous YouTubers, you know, and they teaching uh, things that's contrary to what I'm teaching you right now. But I'm here to tell you that that's a lie. You will not go from, you know what I mean, uh, paying to smell the farts that come from a woman's ass and then go from uh, being authentic and really in it in the pimp game. That's not how it goes because you are governed by the spirit of tricking. You know what I mean? There's a spirit of tricking in you. Everybody make sure you say happy birthday to Helena as well. But you know, uh, it's a spirit of tricking. Now, before I get started and keep going, I want to ask you, you know what I mean? To define what tricking is. Let me see some of y'all thoughts. Define a trick. Some of y'all are using words. You know what I mean? I want you to define a trick and I want you to define spirit. You know what I mean? What is a spirit? What is a trick? You know what I mean? Paying for sex. Okay, Chris. Paying a woman for anything sexual. Hmm. Okay, come on. Hold on. Y'all make sure these comments are showing now. Supporting a bitch who don't care for company. That's decent, Josh. Trick a man who pays for a woman. That's what I thought. Spirit of 
is that money in exchange for sex and time uh, from a woman. Hmm. Paying a woman to leave after sex, simping uh, for pussy and time. <laughs> Paying for time, attention, pussy. Hmm. Floyd May Mayweather. <laughs> um, so, okay, hold on. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to make sure their comments are showing. I don't know if I'm seeing them before y'all. Okay, that's a cool little definition, Ken. So you said the spirit. Hold on. Let me go back to Ken's definition. Y'all typing fast. Hit that like button right now. Come on now, it's, it's over 300 people watching. We should have had over, you know what I mean, 300 likes. Over 300 people watching, over 300 likes. Come on, let's get more people in here for this game. Hit the like button, it ain't gonna cost you nothing. Spirit is energy within you. Okay, a man who pays uh, for a woman's company. Tricks be buying holes, guys. <laughs> What I'm saying, uh, someone, hold on. Energy that can be expressed in vibration through emotions. That's cool. You would probably make half of that if you had your you know, stream was up. Come on, bro. Leave me alone with that, man. I'm not thinking about whoever. Hey, listen. Whoever decides to donate some money, blessings to them. But, bro, you don't see me doing videos asking for money. You know what I mean? White Castles takes care of me. Uh, those that respect the game and honor the game, they show their appreciation and they give. You know what I mean? I learn whatever I need to learn in the game's appointed time. But I appreciate your concern. But, brother, leave that alone right now. Okay, well, you know, you guys gave some cool uh, definitions. You know what I mean? Blessings to not coming in with the Tim. Uh, but I want to say to you that a spirit, spirit, and, uh, you know, I want you to look from a, from a perspective of spirituality as well as carnality, okay? A spirit is a unseen reality that is manifested in matters that can be seen, Okay? I'm going to say it again. A spirit, okay, is an unseen reality that can be met, ma that's manifested, that's manifested in matters that can be seen. Did you get that? Or do I need to say it again? Hold on. Do I need to say that again? Yes or no? I hope I didn't say it too fast. Right. There you go, brother. Exactly. Now, give you good uh, examples. You know, as I like to say, when it's in you, it will be manifested. When just, uh, for example, the information man, let's say if the, me and the information man is in the store. And I'm right behind the information man. The information man is purchasing something. And when he endeavors to purchase this, uh, the information man's card declines. Why did the information man card decline? I'm not making fun of the information I'm pretty sure he got money on his card. But why did the information man's card decline? His car declined because it was nothing in his account. You know what I mean? He endeavored to purchase something, but he couldn't purchase it simply because there was nothing on his car. It declined. Okay? In other words, he couldn't give a withdrawal because there was no deposits put in there. It wasn't in there. So it wasn't manifested. It couldn't come out. Some of y'all didn't have certain surprises too. You didn't went to the bank, you know what I mean, thinking that something was there and, and it wasn't there. You know what I mean? I remember being young in the game, talking to some broad off Facebook. 
and she did the okey pokey on me, seeing what you're talking about. You know what I mean? I told her that that time, at that time, I mark my word, at that time, I told her that my fee was 5000 She said, that ain't nothing. She said, I got 7400 I was like, yeah, I, I didn't heard all that big talk, but just send me 5000 You know what I mean? I gave her my information. She said, it's already sent. Now, this is a, this is a broad that is very popular in the game because of her reputation. I, because of her reputation, I thought that the money was going to be there. You know what I mean? She said up there and sent the, uh, she said, and said that she sent it. So uh, I went, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Such and such. I'm talking to my partner like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? The bitch just set up there, man, and sent the money, man. It's all good. You know, because I'm thinking because of her reputation and, uh, 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 you know, who she professes to be and what people know her for, that everything was going to be all good when I came through. But when I went through, when I came to the bank, it wasn't there. <laughs> I said, I said, let me get a, uh, I, I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask for a balance. I just came thinking that it was there. I said, let me go ahead and get a withdrawal. You know what I mean? Of 5,000. That lady said, hold on. Uh, Mr. Gilmore, um, I'm, I'm sorry, but, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I said, well, why you ain't going to be able to do that? She said, um, because that you don't have that in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I couldn't get it. Why? Because it wasn't in there. You know what I mean? So in, you know what I mean? Uh, hold on. So, you know what I mean? In the spirit of simplicity, you know, speaking to you, um, if something is not in there, it can't come out. So in other words, a lot of you, you know, you've been buying people's books. You've been watching my videos. You've been watching Dre videos. You've been watching Freeze videos. You've been watching them other guys videos. And you're trying to conform to what you've been informed about, but you can even conform to it. Why? Because it's not in you. See, I want you to understand that you can read the life style of gorgeous dre you can read about what gorgeous dre did you can read about what bishop don magic wand did you can read about what kenny red did what gangsta brown did you can read about you know what i mean uh uh the mac what the magnificent seven did do you know what i mean you can read about what joe cato did what Joe Lankford did. You can read about it and you inspired it. After reading about it, it was like, wow, I want to sit up there, you understand me, and do it. I want to be in the game, man. I don't want to be nobody. I don't want to be no boyfriend no more. You know what I mean? I don't want to be no boyfriend no more. I don't want to be, I, man, I don't want to be no square no more. I'm ready to sit up there and pimp. And after you read, some of y'all read that Iceberg Slim book. Some of y'all read, you know what I mean, Pimpin' Ken's book. And after reading, you was like, man, I'm about to go out here and pimp. You've been tricking for years, and you read this pimp book. Now you want to transform. Now you want to go out here and go pimp. Mm-mm. Yeah, Donald Goins. Some of y'all have read Donald Goins' book. You know what I mean? Thinking that you was going to go out there and go do something. Mm -mm. It don't go like that. It's not in you. You don't have a deposit. That's not your ministry. That's not what you was called to do. Now, before I go really into what I'm uh, about to say, let me break this down for you. Many times pimps, Max, have spoken down on tricks. And I've never got that. I never understood why pimps would speak down on tricks. I never understood that. Uh, because I don't look at you less of a man for doing what you want to do with your money. Okay? 
you're going to see a lot of guys, you're going to see even tricks talking like they pimps, uh, talking like they, uh, you know, got dominion over women. It's a lot of tricks reading pimp books and talking real pimpish on the Internet. Right. But check this out. I don't look down on a man because he desires to spend his money on a woman. for it is a privilege to be able to do what you want to do with your money. Let me say that again. It is a privilege to do what you want to do with your money. Pimps make fun of tricks all the time. But let me say this. If it wasn't for tricks, what would the pimps have? Okay, I'll leave that alone. Uh, and last time I checked, they're not giving out millions of years for tricking. Okay? They're not giving out innumerable years for tricking. Okay? So don't let nobody make you feel bad for doing what the fuck you want to do with your money. All right? You don't want to be... Some of y'all are in school. Some of you have careers. And you don't want to be in a relationship. You don't even got the time for all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't even got the time for all that shit. You're not trying to be all in love and all of that. You're not trying to get involved in anything that's going to take your focus off of what you're endeavoring to stay focused on. So with that being said, you just want to relieve yourself. You just want to have a good time. And I don't see anything wrong with doing what you want to do with your money to have a good time. You know what I mean? I don't. These guys are going to give their opinions to try to minimize you. I think that that's crazy. Whatever you desire to do, you know what I mean, with your money, that is your money. And let's just say this. It's a lot of these women that have, they've been a blessing to their families. They're helping their sisters through college and, and things like that. So I don't think that there's nothing wrong with, you know, you giving a contribution to a woman, you know, uh, sowing a seed into her life. I don't see anything wrong with that. As a man think it, so is he. See, some of you have been trained to think that you're less of a man simply because you want to be a blessing to a woman you know, in exchange for whatever you, uh, you know, gave that blessing up for because of the thoughts of society and the thoughts of people and religiosity. I'm telling you, live your life. And if you see a beautiful, attractive woman and uh, you want to spend time with her, there is nothing wrong with that. I repeat, it is nothing wrong with that. And let me also say this to uh, my young P, my young P partners, uh, my young niggas that rap and sing and things like that. Hey, man, we got enough rap songs that glorify pimping. We need more songs to glorify tricking because that caters to all sides. OK, songs that glorify tricking, you know, glorifies the whole community. It's beautiful for the whole community. All right. Sim, what do you mean? If we make if we make songs glorifying tricking, not only does that encourage the trick to do more tricking, make him more comfortable to create profitable situations for the women in the lifestyle. But by them doing that, you know what I mean? The pimp's going to reap off of it. You know what I mean? The pimps reap off of it. The hoes reap off of it. And he's sowing and he feels comfortable in sowing. So there needs to be more rap songs glorifying tricking, not pimping, tricking, not saying that the songs pertaining to pimping is wrong. You know, we need those, too. But we need more songs glorifying tricking. We need more songs with people singing beautiful hooks. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I don't know who uh, sings that. I was in prison when that came out. But uh, the whole... Um, it ain't tricking. It ain't tricking if you got it. It ain't tricking. You know, what? whoever sings that, it has a nice melody to it. Tricking if you got it, it ain't tricking. Whoever made that shit, I was locked up. You know what I mean? Okay, that's who it is. Okay, it ain't trick. Okay, uh, Mullich. Okay. And we need more songs like that. You know what I mean? We need way more. Hit the like button right now. Come on, man. It's 352 of you. 
hit the like button right now. But you know what I mean? We need more songs like that. We got to stop talking down on tricks. You know, because that trick is still a black man or a white man. It's still a man, you know? And if it wasn't for the trick doing his job, then we wouldn't be able to reap. So let's stop doing that. That's unwise. I don't think it's pimpish. I don't think it's manly. You know what I mean? Let's, you know, stop speaking down on one another. You know what I mean? I encourage all tricks to be themselves. If you know that you have tricked and times pass, no, you cannot give up tricking and get, you know, and become a pimp. It doesn't go like that. These guys are preaching a lie to you. You know what I mean? They preaching a lie to you, man. You know what I mean? It's almost like a pimp trying to be a trick. He can't. He is governed by the spirit of pimping. I taught you that what? A, the spirit is what? A unseen reality that manifests in matters that can be seen. You know what I mean? So we can't see the spirit of tricking, but it's manifested through the spirit of lust. It's manifested through the green papers that says, in God we trust. That's what it's man. That's how we see the spirit of tricking. The scripture speaks of what? The look, the lust of the what? The lust of the eyes. Before it even gets to the lust of the flesh, it gets to the lust of the eyes. So we see that, you know, when a man looks at that ass or looks at them titties or looks at whatever feature, you know, physical part of the woman's body, you know, he likes, we see the spirit of lust. We see the spirit of tricking manifesting from his eyes. Okay. That spirit is no different than, you know what I mean? Like I say, like, okay, let me take you to spirituality. When a, when a person uh, possesses the spirit of God, okay, uh, even though I know you guys have been taught that everybody is a sinner and everybody, I get into, I'm not trying to get deep, but let me, let me, let me say this. Doctors practice medicine. Lawyers practice the law. Sinners practice sin. Righteous men and righteous women are capable of sinning, but they do not practice sin. Okay? Because of this ungodly, nasty, you know what I mean, unorthodox flesh that we in, that Paul said that, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing, Romans 7, 18, by you being in this unclean flesh, the righteous man, the righteous woman is capable of committing sin against God because they are still a human being. Okay? And as long as you are in this human flesh, you're going to have sinful thoughts. You're going to have, you know what I mean, a sinful temptation. You know what I mean? But if you follow the Spirit of God, because as the scriptures say, those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. If you follow the Spirit of God, you will follow the Spirit of God into all righteousness, into holiness, not unrighteousness. Unrighteousness is an abomination to righteousness. Righteousness is an abomination to unrighteousness. Okay? When you are possessed by the Spirit of God, you don't want to do anything contrary to the will and word of God. Why? Because you're possessed by the spirit of God. When you are possessed by the spirit of unrighteousness, Satan or Satan, when you are controlled by that, governed by that, you premeditate sin. Most of you, if damn near all of you, when you got up this morning, you already had an itinerary on what you wanted to do. Some of you already got up thinking about the bride that you wanted to suck your dick. Some of you already got up thinking about the bitch that you wanted to fuck. Some of you already got up, you know what I mean, thinking about some gangster shit, thinking about hustling. You know what I mean? You manifested what was already 
in your mind, premeditated. You practice sin. Sinners practice sin. Okay? So I said all that to say pimps, you know what I mean? They do the pimping. Tricks practice tricking. That's what they do. It's in them. Tricking is an abomination to pimping. Pimping is an abomination to tricking. Not read a book. I don't care how many books you read. You're reading about something that you're not capable of doing. All of these niggas trying to deceive you and make you believe that after you buy my book, you're going to pimp like I did. And, you know, after you get this information, you're going to be like this and be like that. That's a bunch of bullshit. See, sinful come through the door, kicking the door down. I ain't asking for your motherfucking money. Okay? They're going to ask you for money. They're going to bring you their book. They're going to do all of this. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to come out with books and films in the future. But it's going to be right and it's going to be the truth. Those that want to give, they're going to give. But I'm not going to lie to you for your motherfucking money. No, you cannot be this pimping if you are a trick. If you are possessed by the spirit of tricking, you are going to be governed by that. You're, not, you're never going to receive some information and then after reading this damn book all of a sudden the spirit of tricking has departed from you some of y'all know you know what i mean you're out of shape you know what i mean you can read a book like i always say you can read a book about how many times sugar ray robinson you know what i mean knocked motherfuckers out you can read a book about you know what i mean uh the way that jordan used to dunk from the free throw line but after you read this information, that information will not give you the capability to fulfill the information on which you just read. You know what I mean? So I'm not shitting on anybody's hustle because I know a lot of you thought that after you got, you know what I mean, uh, this nigga's book, after you got this nigga's book, after you subscribe to this channel, that you was going to stop tricking, that you was going to, you know, uh, stop being uh, treated like the help and all of that. No, you know, you know what I mean? No, it doesn't go like that. You will remain a trick because the spirit of tricking is within you. You was trained. Many of you was trained to be the perfect trick and you don't even know it. Your mother trained you to be the perfect trick. The church trained you to be the perfect trick. School trained you to be the perfect trick. You know what I mean? Society taught you how to be the perfect trick. You've been learning how to be the perfect trick all your damn life. Your father was the trick. You got 23 chromosomes from your tricking ass father. You was taught the doctrine of tricking through religiosity and the thoughts of society that you conform to. You are the perfect trick. So no, you're not going to watch my videos. You're not going to watch Free's videos. You're not going to watch Gorgeous Dre's videos or anybody else's videos or read anybody else's book and stop tricking. There's tr the spirit of tricking is in you. And because you have that deposit, you're going to give that withdrawal. Okay? I don't give a damn what them niggas told you. They lying to you. I love you. I can't allow you to be stupid. Okay? This was not a message that I thought that I was going to have the super chat just blazing and the niggas just sending money. No, because I know I'm hurting a lot of feelings right now. Man, you mean to tell me that I can't be a pimp? You, you're right. Some of you just got through tricking today. No, you will not hear what I got to say. And then after hearing what I got to say, you, you want to be. No, no, no. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. And yes, I want you to stay subscribed. Yes, I want you to stay a supporter. But if you want to leave me because I crushed your pimp dream, it's what it is. You cannot go from being a trick to being a pimp. You can't do that. It's a no-no. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's impossible. Won't be happening. You know what I mean? You'll never be respected. And I don't give a damn how many of them they got guys. See, this is how they try to deceive you and get you hoodwinked and bamboozled. They'll tell you something like, yeah, I had a partner. 
You know what I mean? I had a partner that, uh, you know, uh, he was a trick. And, you know what I mean? My partner was tricking off, you know what I mean, like a motherfucker, man. And, you know, after he got this game, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and he got this broad. You know what I mean? He was tricking for 10 years, but when he got this game, he pimp cold as a motherfucker for 20 years. Listen, man, you can listen to all of them dumbass stories if you want to. I'm willing, I'm here to tell you that just because a woman gives you some money, that does not mean that you are a pimp. For there have been many prostitutes who have given the distributes to trick ass niggas. So receiving green papers with dead hypocrites on it does not make you a pimp. There are tricks right now in the, in the city of Miami, in Florida right now, there is legions of tricks in Miami driving Lambos, the best cars that you want to see. And they get paid off of prostitutes. And they still trick their ass off. Some of them is three deep. Some of them is five deep. And they still paying hoes. And that's sad. That some of you women are putting dicks in your mouth. And some of you are even having raw sex in exchange for some money. Just for you to give to a man so he could go pay a hoe. And she can pay a pimp. That's stupid. That's stupid to suck and fuck on tricks and then come home and give the money to one. That makes no sense at all, bitch. Get your mind right. That don't make no motherfucking sense at all. You didn't sit up there and walked up and down this blade, got in and out of motherfucking vehicles. God just performed another miracle by you sitting over there, sleeping with these motherfucking strangers, putting your life in danger every goddamn night just to make sure the trap of a trick is right. That ain't right, bitch. That's an abomination. You have no business paying a trick. If you know that this man is a trick, the game is going to spank you. You will have problems. Putting the money in the hands of the wrong man is totally contrary to this game. Some of you like, man, why is this happening to me? Why did I lose this? Why did that happen? Why did this happen? Why did that happen? That's the game spanking your ass. You can't run away from the, the consequences of this game. All of these real authentic pimps out here. All these stump down cross country veteran pimps out here. That's currently, you understand me, without currency from a hoe. You got real authentic third ass pimps right now that's holeless. And you sitting over there paying this trick ass nigga because he cute. Bitch, you gonna get your ass whooped by this game. This game going to whoop your ass. You going to something going to end up happening to you. There is consequences of paying the wrong man. There is consequences for paying a trick that professes to be a pimp. I don't feel sorry for no woman that's paying somebody simply because he cute. He attractive. He look good. He got some good ass dick. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he's still a trick dog. He still got a girlfriend on the side. He's still taking your money and paying the shit out of his baby mama. He's still sitting over there taking your money and paying his ex-wife. He's still sitting over there bringing his girlfriend around you, living a double life. How long are you going to be stupid? Some of you young women are going to see this. And the game going to hit you in your chest. Like, man, maybe that's why that's happening to me. Yes, I'm here to tell you that's why that's happening to your dumb ass because you keep paying this trick, ass nigga. Hit the like button right now. It's 407 of you right now. Hit the like button. We should have been over 300, 400 likes right now. It don't cost you nothing to hit the like button. You got so many lame ass motherfuckers right now. They get all the support they want, you know what I mean, from their YouTube channel. You know what I mean? I'm sitting over here bringing this game. Get your lazy finger ass up and hit that like something and break yourself for these motherfucking likes. Break yourself for the shares. Break yourself for the subscribe. Stop playing. But the spirit of tricking is in you. And it will forever be in you. 
There is nothing that you could do about it. Only God could change that in you. No pimp book, no documentary about pimping is going to sit up there and change your mind. As a man think it, so is he. It's in you to think like that. It's in you to desire the things that you desire. That's why you have those trick ass desires because the spirit of tricking is in you. That's what you're supposed to do. When I sat up there and I got out of prison and when I was in prison, I was facing life sentences. And, when, and while I was in prison, my mother, my grandmother, everybody was preaching to me, teaching to me, trying to encourage me to get out. You had pastors coming to visit me, you know what I mean, trying to hurt or get me out the pimping. But I didn't play with God. From CCDC to High Desert to Indian Springs, all they know about me is this pimping. That's it. You know what I mean? Why? Because it was in me. It's in me. You know what I mean? You just know. It's in me. When I, when, when I was a young man of God, before I got into the lifestyle and things like that, when I was a young minister, didn't nobody have to ask whether I was saved or not. You knew that I was a young man of God. No profanity, no masturbation, no fornication, no conversations that had anything that was contrary to Christ. You know what I mean? It was sometimes, man, I used to love praying so much that when people were skipping school to go ditch, to go fuck and get their dick sucked, I would be sitting over there waiting for the end just so I could get back home and get in prayer, just so I could get back home and get in the word. I would hurry up and finish my schoolwork and during lunchtime. When they was in the uh, cafeteria, I was in the library studying and doing my work. So when I got back home, I could get back in prayer. So I could get back in the word because I was a consecrated young man of God. Why? Because it was in me to serve God. It was in me to pray. When I would lead prayer at the Way of Holiness Mission on 104 One South Hosted, you know what I mean? When I would lead the young men and women to prayer, I would never run out of words in prayer. Why? Because it was in me. It was a prayer wheel working on the inside of me. I was disciplined on how to pray. Many people, uh, young people was quoting scriptures. They quote a scripture or two. I was quoting, you understand me, chapters. You know what I mean? Whole chapters. You know what I mean? Because I study. It was in me to study. That was my mind frame. It was in me. When something is in you, it comes out of you. You know what I mean? So I understand why many of you that profess to be pimps is tricking off in the strip club. I understand that, you know, when you threw, you know, them racks on stage and things like that. You threw them racks on stage to that stripper because it's in you. It's in you to trick off on women. Oh man, you know, <laughs> that's just some of my, that's just some of this game, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes, man, you got to, you know what I mean, sit up there, you know what I mean, you understand me, you already know, man, you got to hook them first, man, you know what I mean, yeah, man, the catcher come before the hanging, man, you know what I mean, and sometimes I just throw, you know, a rack or something on stage, and, you know, to make security think that, you know, I'm a trick, and, you know what I mean, that, <laughs> you did it because it's in you to trick off. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, I just do it to get a bitch attention. You know, I pay sometimes, you know, to uh, 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 get an interview. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I done gave a few, you know, hundreds up. You know, nothing, nothing big, but just, you know, give a woman some money for her time. You did it because it's in you to do that. Because you're a trick. That's why. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know, I just, I just, I just slide through, you know, sometimes I, I give a woman, you know, 300, 500 or something like that. Cause you know, you know, just to show, you know, uh, and then you got niggas that say some shit like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I gave a 500, but I didn't, I didn't take no dance though. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't take no, I didn't take no dance. I didn't take no dance though. She didn't dance on me though. You know what I mean? Now, it wasn't no dancing involved. You know what I mean? I just gave her $500 for her time. For her time. 
You know what I mean? I, I, I told little mama I respect her hustle. You know, that's all. You know what I mean? That that That's all. And we just went to the back and we had a little interview. And you know what I mean? Uh, after I gave her the 500, the interview was so good. I said, man, I enjoyed this conversation, man. You know, we're going to have to do this another time. You know, here's my line. And if you decide, you know what I mean, that you want to choose up with my pimping, you know what I mean, hit my line. You know, matter of fact, hold on. Hold on. Here's another 500. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? They, they, they call me Pippin' Love. Yeah, I'm Pippin' Love. You know what I mean? I just like showing love to the game. You know what I mean? I just want to be a blessing to the game, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It ain't it ain't tricking when it's loving. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. I just love the game, man. So, anybody that's a participant of the game, I just want to show love to the game. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just take that other 500, man. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, when you want some real pippin' in your life, Go ahead, you know what I mean, to use that number, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, them seven digits, man, you know, them the winning numbers, man, you yeah, understand me to the whole lottery, man. You know, win yourself, you know what I mean, a billionaire pimp, bitch. You know what I mean? Go ahead and use it. You a trick. Some of you niggas got all type of weird ass shit in your interview. You know what I mean? You got, you got the paid interview. Some of y'all got the weed interview. Some of y'all got the meth interview. Some of y'all got the good dick interview. You know what I mean? Like the bitches get to experience everything. You know, she get to experience your money. She get the some some of y'all got the good head interview. You know what I'm saying? You know some some uh, some of y'all really got this, man. Y'all some of y'all laughing. I'm talking about real shit right now. Some of these niggas ain't got no pippin' with them. They got the good head interview. The good dick interview, the good weed interview, the good meth interview, the here, baby, you know what I mean? Thanks for your time interview. They got all of this shit. You know what I mean? But the but the pimp, you know, a whole interview, a pimp and square interview. You know what I mean? Oh man, you know, uh, uh 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 you got you you got some weed, you you got some more. What, oh, what what you about to do, bro? Oh man, I got an interview in two hours. And I'm not knocking you, you know what I mean, if that's what you want to do. But I'm not coming to smoke weed. And some of you niggas are so motherfucking backwards that you sitting over there smoking weed with a motherfucking renegade. This bitch done put her mouth on this trick, that trick, them tricks, them tricks, them tricks. Tricks cross country done had this bitch mouth. Everybody and their mama done been in this. The whole motherfucking Republican and Democrat party done been in this bitch mouth. And you come right behind all these motherfucking tricks and you sitting over there sharing weed with the bitch and putting your lips on the same weed that this bitch smoking on. You niggas is backwards, man. I don't even smoke, but you niggas is backwards. You know what I mean? Way backwards. This bitch done did all of these dates on Figueroa. She done did all of these dates on Fig. All of these tricks know this bitch on Fig. All of these motherfucking tricks know this bitch on Sepulveda. They know her on Century. They know her, you understand me, on e on the E14. They know her on Washington and Kilbourne. You understand me? They know. They know this bitch. Yeah, you said damn not Fig. Yeah, they know her through the 30s to the 100s. They just know the bitch. They know her on 27th Street. They know her on Bell. They used to know her in the 90s on Van Buren. You know what I mean? They just know this bitch. And you and, and you come through all of them dates. She done did all of these goddamn dates. And you sit up there and say, uh, let me take a puff. And you smoke with the bitch. You hitting the shit with the bitch. You gonna put your lips on the same thing. Yeah, same motherfucking weed that this Brenegade that put her motherfucking mouth on. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Then you say you a pimp. This is embarrassing. You know what I mean? This is embarrassing. You got the interview weed. You got the interview dick. You got the interview head. The bitch just get to take your head. She get to take your tongue, your dick, your money, all of this shit for a test drive. When did, when did the pimping ever come into play? When game ever come into play. Thank you for the $2, man. Good looking. You know what I mean? But when does that ever come into play? When the game come in? When is the pimping ever going to come in? You know what I mean? No, it ain't even going to come in tomorrow. 
You know, but many of you, I need to really hurry up and do that video. Hit the like button right now. It's 424, y'all. Hit the like button right now. Hit the like button right now. Hit that share button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. But the reason why you felt so comfortable participating in these uh in this tricking is because it's in you. You know what I mean? Some listen, let me say this. I want to cover some things because I don't want to leave nothing out in the open. I don't want nobody to leave with a misunderstanding. Some of you might say, well, sin, how do you feel about me uh you know throwing money on the stage when it's my woman? If it's my hoe on the stage, you know what I mean, shaking her ass, and everybody think that I'm a square or a trick, you know what I mean, like, you know, uh, this is my bra up here. This is my bra. This is my bra stripping. So, you know, is it cool for me to throw the money in the air and trick off on my bitches? You know they're going to bring me my money top of the morning. Okay, well, let me, let me say this to you. You know what I mean? Uh, let me say... Let me say this to you. Number one, you don't never want to make provisions for your reputation to be evil spoken on. Okay? Let me say this one more time. You never want your reputation to be evil spoken on, so you don't even need to make provisions for that to transpire. And when you throw money on the stage, even to your bitch that's on the stage, what you have to understand is other niggas, other niggas is going to come in the club and they're going to see you throwing that money. So let's say this. Let's say, OK, you you throwing money on the stage, you know, to hide your image as a pimp. You trying to deceive people into thinking that you a trick and you throw money on the stage even to your women. Let's say the pimping from out of town come in. You know, because pimps be in Miami all the time. And the pimping come through and they just see you throwing all of these racks trying to entice other tricks to trick off on your bitch. And they don't know you, never heard of you, but they just see you throwing racks on stage. When pimp, when the pimp see you next time a pimp, well, let's say, OK, four months pass since then. OK, let's say. Four months then pass, and the same pimps that saw you in that strip club throwing that money at your bitches that they didn't know that was your bitches, and they see you somewhere else, and you don't even have them bitches no more. You got a new bitch or whatever. You know how this game be, and they see you in another state, and you know some niggas, they ain't mouthpiece pimps. They dirty mackers. And them dirty mackers, when they sit up there and become verbal attackers in the ear of your bitch, they're going to give that bitch an all-you-can-hear buffet of that shit that you understand you was doing in that strip club. They're going to sit up there and tell that bitch how money was flying out your hand to these uh, bitches and shit. You know what I mean? That's what they're going to tell that. Hey, you, you know you paying a trick? Hey, hey, baby girl, you know you sitting over here taking chances for a, a guy that... You know, as known, he's a bona fide trick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? You really putting your life on the line. I thought you was smart. You know what I mean? That's real, that's real fucked up that you out here, you know what I mean, putting yourself out there for a man, you know what I mean, that, that takes your money and give it to a woman who turns around and give it to another man. You might as well cut the middle man out, baby. Why is you paying a garbage can? This nigga's a trick. And yo bitch or bitches is going to get harassed all motherfucking night. You understand me? And you ain't even, you was throwing the money on stage to your women. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to say this famous P's name, but it was a lot of pimps from Memphis calling me, telling me, simple, that this nigga is a trick. And I know this nigga, I've never known him for tricking. He's a veteran P. But I know the bride that they said that he was throwing money on, that had to be his bride. But they wasn't trying to hear that. All they thinking about is the fact that, nigga, you was throwing money on the stage. Nigga, you the tricker. We don't want to hear anything. So that's why I'm telling you, motherfuckers, don't even make provisions for your reputation to be evil spoken on.
Don't do that. Even if it is your bitch, don't do it. I'm just, I, me, I, I, I would have to say no. I'm not even going to throw money on the stage to my bitch. If I got a bitch in the strip club, I'm not even going to throw no money, you know what I mean, on the stage. No, not at all. Because my reputation as sinful to pee is too precious to me. You know what I mean? I'm not, it, it, she just, it, tonight just going to have to be slow or whatever. You know what I mean? Or if they think, uh, the security think whatever they think, it is what it is. If they think that I'm a pimp and they about to kick me out because they think that I'm a pimp, maybe it just, it wasn't meant for me to be in here. It is what it is. I can go campaign somewhere else. But I'm not about to sit up there and take my motherfucking money. You know what I mean? Uh, hold on. I'm not about to take my motherfucking uh money and the bitch sitting over here shaking her ass and and she shaking her ass and I'm throwing money and this shit playing. And I'm sitting I'm sitting over there. Keep them dollars coming and that's gonna make me dead. Bitch just sitting over there shaking her ass and you see Simple the P in the club and I'm talking about something. Make it rain, make it, make it rain, 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 make it rain. I'm sitting over there throwing, you come in the club, hold on, you come in the club and you see me in there. You know what I mean, like, you gonna be like seeing. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? You 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 would lose your mind if you walk up in the club and you just see sin just sitting over there just, just I'm talking about throwing throwing fireballs. Some of y'all, some of y'all, if y'all see me throwing money on the stage at a strip club, some of you niggas will have a stroke. Y'all would have a stroke because you love me so much and you believe in me so much. And you just come in the club, you come in the motherfucking club and shit with your cousin. It's your cousin's birthday. And you come in the strip club, not to trick, but just to have drinks and look at some bitches and shit. Because these strippers do be fucking on cute ass squares too. And if you're an attractive square guy, you come in there, you in shape. You know what I mean? And uh, the, 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 the motherfucker, because I ain't going to lie. You know what I mean? That's why I never understood a nigga being holist and dolus or... You know, not being able to charge something, man, if he go too long because, you know, the one thing about them strippers, man, them strip, them strippers be horny as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? And if you a handsome man and you got some good personality, you know what I mean? They're going to sit up there, man, and fuck with you. So I couldn't see it. But just picture that because these niggas be trying to justify, oh, man, if it was my bitch or my bitches. And you come in the club with your cousin on your cousin's birthday and you just see Sin in a black suit looking like he uh, a mother, he, he a damn Muslim getting ready to sell a bean pie. And you see my pimping ass in the strip club just, just throwing money. And I'm talking about. I want to see some cash. Keep them dollars. And I'm sitting, up, I'm sitting over there dancing and shit with a whole lot of money, with a whole bunch of ones in my hand. You know what I mean? Just throwing it in and y'all coming in. I'm in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna be like, sin. And I'm, like, I'm just looking at you like, oh man. I'm just in there, just, I'm just in there tricking off. And you just come in and sin. What is you doing? And I'm like, man, do you see me having a good time? You know what I mean? You gonna, you gonna, you know what I mean? So no, this is a no-no. Those who have reputations in the game, those of you that really profess and possess this pimping, don't ever make, listen to what I just said, don't ever make provisions for your reputation to be evil spoke on. Spoke on. You know what I mean? Because one thing about this pimping, you know what I mean? It's going to spread like wildfire. Next thing you know, the pimping going to get on the phone. People going to be on the phone with each other like, man, sinful to pee, man, that, that, that nigga. Yeah, man, these old motherfucking YouTube ass niggas, man. I seen that nigga. What? Yeah, man, he was in there, man. He was in Tootsies, man. He was all up in Tootsies, man, just throwing money everywhere, man. That I, I started to knock his motherfucking ass out, nigga, because he threw one, he threw one brick 
that was so cold when he hit it, it ricocheted off the stripper pole and hit a pimp in the motherfucker eye, man. I was like, like, man, this nigga is really out of line with his trigger. This nigga is game banging with the trigger tonight. You know what I'm saying? I started to whoop him for the P's ass, man. That nigga hit me in my eye with a brick of money, man. He was just sitting there just tricking off. You know what I mean? Like, I can't make provisions for that to happen, man. I can't. I love the game too much. I'm trying to, I'm teaching you that your reputation, you know what I mean, is everything in these streets. You don't want to make, you don't want to make provisions for people to speak on you like that, man. You know what I mean? No, that's a no, no. So even if it is your bitch or your bitches, do not throw money on the stage at your bitch or your bitch because your reputation will be evil spoken on. Nigga be like, man, I don't give a fuck what a nigga say about me. Yeah, but what you got to understand is these niggas talk to hoes. These hoes going to talk to hoes. And before you know it, it's going to be around cross country that you a trick. You don't want, you might make a statement on Facebook like you a pimp and somebody be like, wait a minute, nigga, you, you was just tricking off in the strip club. Don't do it. Leave it alone, Pete. So, you know, I'm, I'm through with that. So we know, hold on, let me make sure, you know what I mean? We have clarity. Uh, pimps, peas, you can do whatever you want to do. But those that are listening to me, you know what I mean? No, you know what I mean? We do not, we, do, we don't do that. The young peas that's listening to me that's following my doctrine of the game, no, we do not throw money on the stage, even if it's our bitch, because this will fuck up our reputation in the game. And then, to be honest with you, when you're really possessed by the spirit of pimping, even if you try to throw your arm, you wouldn't be able to even throw it because your arm will become weak because you're too possessed by the spirit of pimping. You can't even throw nothing on the stage. Why? Because the spirit of tricking is in that. It's too trickish. We don't do that. That's a no-no. We're not paying for interviews. You do not pay for an interview from a bitch. Okay? Uh, motherfucker might sit up there and say, you know, but sin, I didn't get a dance. She didn't sit on my lap. She didn't sit up there, you know what I mean, to get anything from me. She didn't suck my dick. You know what I mean? We didn't do anything. Yeah, nigga, but... You paid the bitch to talk to her. How insulting is that? You paid the bitch to talk to her. You know what I mean? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Bless us to care of Mac. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? We are not doing that, people. You know what I mean? We are not. Let me, let me say this. Pimps do not pay for interviews. I don't know if I can say this enough. Pimps do not pay for interviews. Spread the word. Spread the word around. Okay? Spread the word. Pimps do not pay for interviews. We not paying a bitch to talk to her. Who the fuck is this bitch? What bitch is that motherfucking attractive and fine that you took, you understand me, some cash out of hoes ass and put in the hand of this bitch just so you can talk to her? This is not pimpish. See, and another thing, thank you, gang. That's just the spirit of this pimping up on me. Some of you niggas, mentality is still of a hustler. You still got that hustler mentality. You still got that businessman shit. It ain't pimpish. But you think it's pimpish. And the reason why a lot of y'all think the wrong is right simply because it was some results that came out the wrong. So you've been doing wrong so long and you've been doing basically, you understand me, uh, getting an income out of the wrong. So now because you're getting income from the wrong, you think that wrong is right. Motherfuckers been doing wrong so long that now they think wrong is right. What do you mean by that, sin? Let me tell you. You got niggas who will, and I'm going to say this, I'm not going to say his name. You know what I mean? But it's one individual in the game that y'all praise so much. And this nigga ain't nothing but a certified trick that just hustle a uh, bitch real good. Certified trick. Got a doctor's degree in tricking. You know what I'm saying? He's in the higher echelon of tricking. But he gets income 
you know what I mean, from the wrong that he does. So since he get income from the wrong that he does, people have just learned to accept it. If you can drive a vehicle, if you got jewelry on, if you got nice clothes, if you got a nice house, one thing about these motherfuckers, they will sit up there and say, fuck, fuck whatever he did for it. They just respect you. You know what I mean? I, I know this game. You know what I mean? These niggas will preside over transsexuals, and as long as the motherfucker is getting a bankroll out them transsexuals, these niggas will say he pivot like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? They have said that he pivot like a motherfucker because of the vehicle that he drives, the place that he stays in, and what he wearing, and the jewelry and all of that. But they not thinking of what he did to get that. Let me teach. This one individual that is praised so much in the game. This nigga gave another so-called, he gave this man $2,500 for the bitch number. This so-called P gave another so-called P $2,500 just for the bitch phone number. I'm going to say it again. This so-called P that's famous in the game he gave $2,500 to another so-called P for the phone number of a bitch that the other so-called P was presiding over, okay? Now, he didn't knock her instantly, but he ended up getting the bitch. Watch this. Watch this now. Follow me. He, ends it, he ended up getting the bitch. The bitch that he desired, that he paid $2,500 for the number, he ended up getting the bitch. And he sit up there, you understand me, and had the bitch over a year. Before I teach, I'm going to ask you guys a question. He paid $2,500 for the number. In the long run, months later, he ends up getting the bitch. He maintained the bitch for over a year. Okay. He got his money back and then some. Okay, follow me. He got hundreds of thousands out of her. I know that to be true. You know what I mean? He got a good two or three hundred thousand dollars out of her within that year. Okay, so I want to ask you, is that pimping? See who's been following the teachings. Is that pimping? Is that pimping? Is that pimping in your eyes? You say repeat, Johnny Mac. Okay, I'm gonna repeat for you, Johnny Mac. There was a so-called P that took twenty-five hundred dollars. Okay, and he put in the hands of another so-called pimp gave him $2,500 for the purpose of receiving the phone number of one of the hoes of the so-called P that he gave $2,500 to. That's what he gave them uh, $2,500 to for the phone number, okay? Gives him $2,500 for the phone number. He calls her, he texts her, and he didn't knock her until like a good two to three months later. He ends up knocking her. He ends up having the bitch. And he maintains her over a year. Checks hundreds of thousands of dollars out of her. He done made that $2,500 back and then some. My question to y'all is that pimping. Let me see how y'all mind is. Let me see who's been listening to me. Let me see who's been sitting under this game. Is that pimping? Yes or no? Okay, Memphis all day say yes. Did he get a fee because he paid a P? Hold on. Let me go. You said lucky. He said yes. He chose up with the 25. No, that's hustling in my opinion. No, no. That's not pimping at all. Kev Max said no. Thought provoking. 
I want to, I, you know, I didn't want to put it. I'm asking you before I come with the game. I'm asking y'all. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Ken Max said that's an investment. <laughs> you dig? Hey, sound like bullshit. Yeah, but I'm not going to say nobody's name, but what the example that I gave y'all, I just didn't put no names to it, but that actually happened. What I just gave you right now, that, that's really real life. That's not something I just made up that really happened. A so-called famous P, a famous pimp in the game, took $2,500 and gave it to another so-called pimp for the phone number and he ended up knocking this blonde this beautiful blonde bitch with these big ass titties he ended up getting that bitch months later and he kept her for over a year and he checked hundreds of thousands out of her and that's why i wanted to know you know what i mean do y'all consider that to be pimping is that the pimping to you Okay, well, let me say this. Most of y'all said, no. I'm here to tell you that no, it was not pimping. No, it was not the pimping. There's a difference between, and I'm so glad that you guys are here. There's a difference between uh, hustling bitches or uh, making an investment to get a development and actually pimping on the pavement. There's a difference from you know what I mean? Uh, 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 some con artist shit. You know what I mean? Or some, uh, you know, exchange. You know, because motherfuckers are set up there, you know what I mean? And traded bitches too. That's another subject. But this is not the pimping. Okay? Pimping, don't, pimping does not pay for the phone number of a bitch. If anything, pimping going to meet the bitch at her place of work, whether it be the track, resort, strip club, and he going to campaign. But to actually pay for the number of this bitch, the way you start is the way you end. And you came in the door as a trick. You know what I mean? You came in tricking. You came in spending $2,500. Let me, let me show you this. Just because the outcome ended up being some motherfucking, you understand me, income, that don't mean that that change, you know, I mean, what happened. Let me say it again. Just because the outcome turned into some income, that don't change wrong into right. Some of y'all really got to think about what I'm saying. Just because the outcome turns into an income or even a big income, that don't change the wrong into right. You want to send some money, just hit the dollar sign, you know what I mean? And you can uh, play with it and send whatever amount you want to send, but it's a dollar sign in your comment section. But and thank you, Ken. Ken came in with the 999, bro. Appreciate that. But we really need to understand that. Just because the outcome is the, uh, turns into an income, that does not change the wrong into right. You got guys presiding over transsexuals. You got guys paying for interviews. You got guys that used to call Backpage, now they calling other websites, pretending to be tricks when they really are tricks. You know what I mean? Dating these bitches, giving the bitch money. And then after fucking getting his dick sucked, he trying to tell the bitch that she out of pocket. You know what I mean? He telling her that she out of pocket. And the bitch say, how am I out of pocket? Because you wasn't supposed to be dating no black man. You know, this out of pocket. You, you out of pocket right now. You know what I mean? I'm a pimp. You should have known. But I just got through sucking and fucking on you. Yeah, you just got through sucking and fucking on a pimp. Break yourself. You out of pocket. And you got some dizzy ass bitches. That and I'm, This is a true story, what I'm about to tell you. This is another dumbass story that I'm about to tell you that's goofy as hell, but it happened. Um, it was this guy, 
an older guy that's known. You know what I mean? Known. And what I mean by that, really known. Okay? Ben, he's from New York. You know what I mean? Some of y'all, y'all know without me saying it. Thank you, baby, for coming in here with the 499. You know what I mean? Coming in here with the five. But he's really known for doing this. He be in Vegas sometimes with fake chips. You know what I mean? That's why you niggas really got, I'm going to do a video about that. But some of you niggas really got to school your bitches because you got niggas out there with fake chips. And if the bitch can't tell the difference from a fake chip and a real chip, she'll think that, you understand me, she got $5,000. And that bitch in there sucking on raw dick, licking on raw balls. And the bitch just walking out that hotel room. She just came out the Bellagio hotel room with a $5,000 uh, fake chip. You niggas better lace your hoes. You niggas better lace your... Some of these bitches can't even tell the difference from fake money and real money. Some of these bitches can't tell the difference from fake chips and real chips. They can't. You better lace your hoes, man. It's a lot of deception out here. It's ma manipulation is omnipresent. That's why pimp got to stay reading. That's why pimp got to stay thinking. Because the enemy is always plotting. The enemy is always strategizing and organizing. You understand me? To sit up there, you understand me, and win. So you better be doing the same thing. If you want better results, you better sit up there and have better thoughts about this game. So, okay, uh, this guy that I was speaking on, he calls a girl up on one of the little sites. It wasn't Backpage. Maybe it was Craigslist. And uh, he calls this beautiful blonde up, this beautiful white blonde with big ass titties up. You know what I mean? Because he was known for having the snow. He didn't have bitches down now. He got a lot of con artist ways, a lot of trickery ways. But I would be a liar if I said that this one individual that I'm speaking on don't got game because he got a lot of game. He's not playing fair. He got a lot of game now. And if your bitch ain't laced, she might end up even getting knocked. With the, with the way these dumb bitches is today. But uh, he basically calls the girl up from the website and they sitting over there. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate the one ninety nine. Lex, thank you for the $5, man. I thank you for the support. Um, but they sitting over there chopping it up. And you know what I mean? They have the date. They date one another. He gives her some fake money. And uh, the bitch didn't know that it was fake money. He allows this older con artist, manipulating, Mac wannabe pimp ass nigga to give her the fake money. She sucks his dick. She fucks him. He just has a blast, a good time, right? So after it's over, he tells her that she's out of pocket. You know what I mean? Because first of all, you ain't got no business. You know what I mean? Even being here, as soon as you know me, as soon as you seen me, you, you should have known it was pimping. She said it was it's pimping. What do you mean it's pimping? We just we just dated. She's like he was like, bitch, you so motherfucking green. It's a shame. You know what I mean? You didn't even know that even the money you got right now is fake. The motherfucker that you paying, he ain't teaching you shit. You know what I mean? With that little knowledge that you got, you can be killed. You can get killed at any time. You know, shout out to my nigga Price. You could be killed anytime. You know what I mean? You could sit up there and get murked anytime. You get robbed at any time. He not teaching you nothing. And with that little game that you got, you're going to get killed out here. You're going to get taken advantage of. And do you know this silly ass white bitch actually listened to him tell this bullshit? And she sat up there and chose up? I'm going to say it again. Do you not realize he gave the bitch some fake ass money, got his dick sucked, Fucked on the bitch. Did all of that. Fuck, got his dick sucked and all of that. Then told the bitch she was out of pocket. You know what I mean? Because she ain't had no business being there. She supposed to recognize Pippin when she see it. You know what I mean? He tells the bitch this. And the bitch, you know what I mean? After he uh, tells the bitch that, you know, whoever you paying right now, he don't know what the fuck he doing. And you know what I mean? You going to uh, lose your life, you know, paying the individual that you paying. You know what I mean? That nigga really fucking over you right now. And after he says all of this, you know what I mean? The bitch listened and she actually chose up and he had the bitch for some months. You know what I mean? 
This is a crazy world out here. That's why I keep telling you, just because a motherfucker has a bitch paying him and he's living off the earnings of prostitution, that don't mean that he a pimp. Because there's many tricks, especially in Miami, you know what I mean, that's living off the earnings of prostitution. Okay? There's living off the earnings of prostitution. So just because a motherfucker got five bitches, ten bitches, that don't make him a pimp. That just means that he got five and ten bitches that like him. Okay? Because he can have the materialistics of a pimp and have the characteristics of a trick. I'm going to say it again. You can have the materialistics of a pimp, the lingo of a pimp, hand gestures like a pimp, uh, drive bitches, sit them down on the blade like a pimp, talk like a pimp, no pimps, cross country, pimp materialistics, but trick characteristics. And we got a lot of guys, especially in that Miami, but it's all around. I ain't just picking on Miami, but you got a lot of guys who have pimp materialistics. They got the materialistics of a pimp, but they got the characteristics of a trick. So don't judge. Don't allow the appearance to be the interference. Don't look at a person's jewelry and think that he's authentic and really in it simply because his jewelry game is on fire. Or he just pulled up in a Phantom. Or he just pulled up in an S550. Or he just pulled up in the new coupe. You know what I mean? Yeah, he might have he might have did sit up there and pull up in a new coupe, but he was just in the strip club, you know, paying a group of hoes and giving dough. So, you know what I mean? Don't let the appearance be the interference for the spirit of tricking is omnipresent. It's everywhere. OK, so and let me let me also say, because I got so many things to speak on, you know, man, I ain't going to lie. Two hours, three hours really ain't enough. You know what I mean? But let me also say this. The spirit of tricking is so deep. I want to deal with it all. But the spirit of tricking is so deep. I have to explain this because a lot of y'all get this fucked up. I don't want you to leave this video with the wrong understanding. So let me break this down. Uh, somebody might say, well, seeing am I a trick if I meet a woman that's beautiful, that's attractive, and we had a conversation, and she's a square, and I'm endeavoring to turn her out to the game. I want to turn her on and turn her out to the game. Am I wrong, you know, for taking this young woman out, this beautiful, attractive, you know, woman, you know, she from Brazil, you know what I mean? She's beautiful as hell, saying, am I wrong you know, for conducting myself as a square with this square and talking to her, you know, on the phone or talking to her in person, you know, as a normal individual, having a normal conversation. I haven't told her that I was a pimp yet. Uh, all she know me is as, as Ronald. You know, what I mean, she doesn't know me as phenomenal uh, D1 supernatural behind the back door upstairs uh, back over the backboard top of the line pimp. She don't know me as that yet, P. She doesn't know me as Ron. Am I wrong for inviting this woman to a five-star restaurant, you know, or going somewhere with her where, you know, uh, the ambiance, you know what I mean, is, is, is beautiful? You know what I mean? Am I wrong, you said, because he's deceiving her? How is he deceiving her, baby? Explain that. He's saying that his name is Ron. And if he gave his government name, he gave his government name. You know what I mean? Now watch this. Pimps, as is, is the great Mel Taylor said, you know what I mean? A well-placed truth is better than any lie. Let me say it again. A well-placed truth is better than any lie. So we don't lie to women. We just wisely preside over the truth. So when we convey it to a woman, you know what I mean? She can receive it because the truth is like medicine. And if you give too much truth at one time, you can kill the bitch. You kill the situation. So you have to preside over the truth correctly and wisely. Truth is medicine. If I give you too much 
medicine, you would die. So I have to wisely preside over this truth when I'm conveying it to you. You know what I mean? So if it's a beautiful, let's say, okay, uh, let's say uh, the homie Ronald right there, uh, Ron come with me and we in downtown Minneapolis. And I meet a beautiful woman, you know what I mean, in the club. And she says, you know, oh, my God, you look nice tonight. And I say, you know, not better than you. And she said, you know what I mean? Well, how's your day going? It's beautiful, but you know what I mean? It's, it hasn't been as beautiful as you. You're, you're highly, extremely you know, attractive. You know what I mean? It's, it's some attractive women in here. You know, but I must say that, you know what I mean, that you, man, you take the cake. You are extremely attractive. I'm very glad. I wasn't even going to come out tonight. You know what I mean? But I'm glad that I did, man, because you here. Oh, my God. You probably say that to you probably say that to all the girls. No, baby, I don't say that to no girls. But, you know, what I mean, I appreciate you as a woman. You know what I mean? For coming, man. You know, now I'm glad that I did step out tonight because I was going to stay in my hotel room. You know what I mean? What's your name? Woo -woo -woo. So we talking, socializing. And she asked me my name. OK, now watch me in this position, everybody. She asks me my name. I tell her my name is Brandon. OK, uh, I didn't tell her my name was sinful to pee. I told her, told her that my name is Brandon. OK, watch this. She exchanged. We exchanged numbers. And, you know, after you get out the club, you know, man, you be texting and things like that. Now she's trying to find out what I do and all that, you know. And I say, well, you know, right now I'm around a whole bunch of people. When I get back to the room, you know, uh, by myself, I'm. Uh, can I call you? You know, do I have that liberty to call you? And nine out of ten, you know, because she thought that I was attractive, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm handsome as hell. She's going to allow me to call her. So once I call her and we talking and I got her laughing because I'm funny. And I'm going to have a laugh, and then we're going to talk about things that I can convey my intelligence on. So I got you laughing, I got you smiling, and then I got, I, I'm giving you these mental climaxes that these squares can't give you. You know what I mean? So now that I'm giving you a pimp fucking, the pimp fucking is starting. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm in your mind, you know what I mean? Because 9 out of 10, especially if you're a black woman, if you're melanated, you're a sapiosexual. You know what I mean? Most, you know, melanated women, they are sapiosexuals. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm feeding your mind. I'm blessing your mind with this knowledge, with this information. And I got you laughing and everything at the same time. You know what I mean? To the point where we didn't talk and talk and you didn't forget that you got to go to work in the morning. You know what I mean? And now we didn't get off the phone. Now you texting me at work and we laughing. Now you starting to like on me. Now, you know what I mean? You ask me, what do I do? I say, uh, well, you know, uh, no, sapio. Uh, you know, I'm on this, I just want to tell you this. You know, I was just looking for uh, the right time to tell you, you know, but my, everybody doesn't agree with my lifestyle. You know, everybody doesn't, doesn't like what I do. You know, uh, for my lifestyle is contrary to the thoughts of society, religiosity, like, you know, um, it's against the norm. You know, uh, some people would really classify me as a bad guy, you know, as a criminal. And most women in that conversation, they, she's going to be like, but what do you, what, but what do you do? Are you a killer? No, 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 not anything, not anything like that. You know what I mean? No, but you know, I didn't know whether or not you wanted to talk to a guy like me because, you know, I'm not the nine to five, you know, average, you know, guy. You know, what I mean, um, you know, my lifestyle is kind of like living on the edge. And I've been enjoying my conversations with you and while I've been out. And even when I'm with my partners and things like that, you are on my mind. And, you know, I just didn't want it to end, man. But, you know, it might come to an end now because. I have to let you know that, you know, I'm I'm a criminal, baby. You know what I mean? I, I do things contrary to what people think is right, you know. And nines out of ten, you know what I mean? Uh, and my brother, you know, shout out to my brother from another mother, you know, the incomparable uh, gorgeous Dre, who got, you know, his game from the legendary impeccable Mel Taylor. You know, watch this now. 
A well-placed truth is better than any lie. I haven't lied to her. My name is Brandon. My middle name is Brandon. What did I lie to her? She asked me my name. I gave her my name. I didn't have to tell her. I wasn't obligated to tell her that my name was sinful to Pete. Plus, I'm a convicted felon. You know what I mean? And by me being a convicted felon, that ain't really for everybody to just know, especially strangers that I'm just meeting. She might sit up there and tell somebody and a whole riot or something might get started. You know what I mean? So I need to do some investigation before she, you know, get that type of information. She might not even be worthy of all of that. So I blessed her with the truth. My name is Brandon. You know what I mean? I didn't give her my pavement name, but I did give her my government name. So I haven't lied to her. She asked me what I do. I told her that, you know, I'm doing things contrary to what people consider to do right. I didn't tell her that I was a pimp, but I let her, you know, know that I'm involved in something, you know, that's contrary to the status quo. I'm just, it's, it's contrary to righteousness. You say it's contrary to what people think is right. Now, you know what I mean? I know that she likes me because if she didn't like me and if she really abhorred, you know what I mean, talking to guys, you know, that are involved in things that's wrong, she would just hang up. But due to the fact that, well, you know, um, and this is how most of them be. Well, you know, we all involved, you know, uh, in, in something wrong, you know, uh, you know, as long as you're not no killer or you're not about to tell me like you eating some dead bodies. Oh, girl, stop. Stop. You just nasty. You probably just want me to eat you. Oh, my God. You stupid. Oh, my God. I don't even be thinking about that. Right. And see, now I've switched the energy. And now that I've switched the energy, now I'm about to switch the conversation. I'm about to get more information. I'm about to have her laughing. I did Muhammad Ali all around that because conversations with women is just like boxing. I'm not going to let you box me in. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I come under too many pimps and preachers, ministers and max. I'm a well-polished nigga. I done made too many mistakes and have failures in my life. You know what I mean? Ups and downs and besetments and disappointments for me to reach the mental development that I'm in now. So as far as conversation, no, you're not going to box me in. Come on, baby. So, you know, now I switch the comment. You keep talking to me. You want to be around me. You know what I mean? And getting back to the question that I asked you guys, now that we are talking, uh, if I take her to a restaurant or if I go somewhere, my intentions is to pimp. Let me say that again. My intentions is to pimp. I'm not taking her to a restaurant or to go here or go there, you know what I mean, for some pussy. Or some head, if a guy does that. I'm not saying, you know, because a lot of you niggas be taking advantage of that. But if you was to go to a restaurant or go to a bar with a square or whatever, and you endeavoring to, you know, turn her on, to turn her out, you know what I mean? And you had the charm and disarm her, you know, uh, to do that. You know, that don't mean that you not the pimping. Why? Because your intentions was to pimp. The spirit in you is pimp. You know what I mean? When a trick does what he does, his intentions is to trick. That was the intent of his heart. That was the intentions from the first place. You know what I mean? Before money even came out of his pocket, before he had a conversation with her, his intentions was to spend money, accumulation for fornication, or accumulation for time, or whatever. You know what I mean? So, let me say this. Everything is always about intent of heart. Some of y'all asked me a question. You said, you know, uh, seeing how do you feel about when Dre uh, gave a comparison, when Dre said, uh, you know, uh, this one broad, you know, he had set up, you know, a, a, a restaurant, a reservation. First of all, you know what I mean? Uh, Dre knows what he's doing. And two, you know, which is still number one, his intent, his heart intent is to pimp. It's to pimp. 
Most of them guys, you know what I mean, that go in the strip club that even profess to be pimps, they intent is to trick. You got a lot of guys hiding behind the pimp card, but their intentions is to do something else. Listen to me. Follow me. You have individuals who profess to be pimps, and they're only using the pimp card to get some pussy. To get them, you know what I mean, sexual pleasure. Their heart intent is not to pimp. It's just to live off the earnings of prostitution and have sex. Let me say it again. You have niggas who are using the pimping as a defense mechanism to hide the lasciviousness. You know what I mean? To hide the trickish ways. The freakish ways that they got on down on the inside. It's just a cover up. It's a facade. It's a facade. Let me say that again. It is a facade. If a bitch grabbed them by the dick right now and say, boy, shut up. All of this pimp talk that you talking about. Let's go somewhere and go fuck. I want to suck your dick right now. You talking about all of this pimp, pimp this and, and pimp that and pimp this and pimp that. Uh-uh. No. Fuck all of that. I want to sit up there and suck your dick. And a bitch knows that who she can do that with. And you understand me? Because his intent was only to live off the earnings of prostitution or fuck anyway. He going to settle for that ass. Why? Because he never had the spirit of pimping in him to begin with. When you are a trick or when you're just a whole hustler, your intentions is not to pimp. That's not your hard intentions. Because pimping create hoes. Pimping, they build hoes from the ground up. Pimping, they bring empowerment, development, enlightenment, improvement, encouragement. That's the job, not just of the pimping, but that is the ministry of a man to a woman. If you are a man, that's what you're supposed to do, especially if you say that you're a pimp. Come on, man. It's 522 people right now. Hit the like button right now. Hit the like button right now. Stop playing with me. Hit the like button right now. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe channel. Uh, hit the subscribe right now and hit the bell and make sure that you share this video so all your tricking ass friends can see it and all your little wannabe friends that think they're a pimp but they really a trick, make them see this video as well. You know what I mean? But I want you to know, you know, when this tricking is in you, and for the new ones that came in, for those of you that don't know what a spirit is, I gave the definition in the beginning. I taught them that the spirit is what? Before I even begin, I'm going to see who's listening. The ism can't save the world. That ain't what I asked y'all. I be wanting to know who's listening. Just like when I ask that question, I'll be wondering who be listening to the information. You know what I mean? Some of y'all had the nerve to even say yes when you should have automatically knew that it was no when it came to that question. You know what I mean? I don't know. But what is a spirit? Ask me. What did I say a spirit was? No, bro. You tried, though. An unseen reality that's manifested in matters that seen. A unseen reality that is manifested in matters that seen. You can't see a spirit. You know what I mean? You can't see the spirit of tricking. You know what I mean? As far as in a physical uh, form other than your body and then, then the shit that you're doing but we see the spirit of tricking is manifested when that woman has dominion over your mind and able to get a gold mine out you because of the spirit of tricking is in you a woman that is possessed by the game she can just type the pen in you she can type the four letter pen g-a-m-e and after she types in g-a-m-e she can g-a-i-n off of your ass because you are in governed by the spirit of tricking 
And because you're governed by the spirit of tricking and she's governed by the game that comes from the pimping, she's able to seduce and reduce you for everything that you have. You know what I mean? How you like that? Did that make did that did, did that make sense? Anything that I'm saying, does that make sense? Did that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Because you are governed by the spirit of tricking, a woman that is possessed by the game that comes from the pimping, she can type in the pin code G-A-M-E and G-A-I-N off of you. Because she got the game, she can gain off of you. Because she got the game, she can seduce and reduce you. Because she got the game, she can manipulate you and accumulate off your ass. Why? Because you got the spirit of tricking in you. That's why. That's why. And let me go a step further. Thank you, gang. Every time I get ready to go here, the spirit of the game got me going over here. Many of you, because I said that it was wrong to pay for interviews, but I also want you to know tonight, because a lot of y'all be, be doing it, we don't pay for plane tickets. Let me say it again. We don't pay for plane tickets. We don't pay for Greyhound tickets. When there's game, there is a way. When they say it's a wheel, there's a way. When it's game, there is a way. We don't pay for bus tickets, plane tickets for the bitch to get to us. We don't do that. That's a no-no. Let me say that again. We do not pay for bus tickets and plane tickets for the bitch to come to us. Let me give you an example. One time, uh, T-Mac, who I love dearly, um, but T-Mac was with Freeze at the time, and he had action at this little beautiful ass you know what I mean? Uh, I, I believe she was redhead. I believe so. I believe she was. You know what I mean? And this particular broad, you know what I mean? If I'm not mistaken, I think she was in Iowa. I might be wrong, though. Don't quote me. But I think she was in Iowa. T-Mac was in Cali, I think, at the time. You know, I don't know where the broad was at. I think she was in Iowa. But he paid for the Greyhound ticket for the bitch to come to him. Oh, man. And, and he was stunt, man. T-Mac was talking so much shit. T-Mac was like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Get ready to have this young thing, man, down, man. Yeah, man, old niggas are still doing it, man. Yeah, baby, you know what I mean? Really about to check it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, about to have that young bitch down, man. I'm about to be back up. Y'all really about to see some pimping around this motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's about to go down, baby. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Hit the like button. And, you know, T really sitting over there calling me. Yeah, man, what's going on, Sinfo? That's that teammate talk. What's going on, Sinfo? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That bitch, man. Yeah, man. She about to be down here, man. Yeah, man. Fucking with some veteran pimping, man. You know, some Milwaukee pimping, man. Yeah, she about to be down here, man. Fine, little bitch, man. Yeah, yeah. And he just he just really happy, right? And uh, the bitch was supposed to be there, I think, at 5.30 or 6 o'clock or something. So, you know, uh, when the bus come in, because everybody know, you know, when somebody come off uh, the Greyhound, you able to look at the itinerary and see the time that the person getting ready to come. And uh, they look at the time, T-Mac looking at the time, he see the bus coming in and uh, the bus then came and all of these bitches and people getting off the bus. Children getting off the bus, you know what I mean? And uh, everybody just meeting their family. You know how people be when they get off the Greyhound. Everybody just smiling and hugging each other. Oh, my God, I miss you. Hey! 
You know what I mean? Everybody just smiling, having a good old time in the Greyhound. You know what I mean? And uh, T Mac looking for the bitch, man. You know, uh, you know where is that bitch? You know that you paid your money, man. Yeah, man, you paid your money, man. You paid for this ticket. And T Mac looking. T Mac just sat up there and went up to the bus driver and said, uh, uh, was it a young lady? Uh, hold on, let me find the picture. Was it a young lady that looked like this? Did, 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 uh, did she look like this? Was it a young lady that looked like this on your bus? Did you ever see a young lady with this appearance on your bus? <laughs> Did you? And uh, bus drivers say not, not that I can recall, sir. So you know, T get on the phone. Man, bitch ain't picking up, man. Damn, man, I hope this bitch. Man, she probably did, man. Damn, man. She this bitch probably got off. She probably got off on the stop. She ain't supposed to get off, man. Damn, man. Shit, man. Fuck. Trying to call the bitch. She probably missed the bus, man. She probably got on the she probably uh missed the damn bus, man, in another state, man. Damn. Let me text her, man. Cause now, cause now when I call her, the phone is just going to voicemail. So let me let me call her right quick. I mean, let me text her. Cause now when I call her, go to voicemail. So let me text her and see if I get some different results. Damn, baby, did you change your mind? Do you still want to fuck with some pimping? Bitch respond back and said, true story. Bitch respond back and said, yes, I decided to fuck with some pimping. Just not yours. I don't think you heard me. The bitch text back and said, yes. I decided to fuck with some Pippin, just not yours. And when I tell you, when he read that text message, it was like, motherfucker just came in his chest and just did his soul like this. Just like that. Just like that. That nigga, that nigga T-Mac was so hurt. Oh my God, he was so hurt. Oh man, you know what I mean? He was so hurt. You know what I mean? Just snatched the soul like just like that. And uh you know uh he he called man these bitches ain't shit man these bitches ain't shit sinfo they ain't shit man you know what I mean damn man he paid over a hundred some dollars for that ticket that ticket was damn near two hundred so you damn near two hundred dollars out, and he and that team bitches. He was getting charges here, little breakings here, but he ain't have nothing solid though. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean. Uh, his heart was hurt, man. T Max's heart was hurt, man. You know what I mean? T was hurt. Hit that like button right now. Stop playing with me. Everybody, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit the subscribe. But. T Mac heart was hurt, man. His heart was hurt. She said, "Yeah, I de I decided to fuck with some pimp, just not yours." Do you not understand that when you pay for a Greyhound ticket, that these bitches can go to uh, the representative behind the counter and switch their location? That bitch took the ticket that T Mac paid for. And had the location changed and went to another pimp. And do you not know when the bitch got there, you know what I mean, that that bitch had some money on her? Follow me now. Oh, it's not over. You thought that that was cold? No, no, no. The story gets colder, baby. 
Everybody sit down. You thought that was cold when I said that when the bitch texts back and when she said, yeah, I decided to fuck with some pimping, not just yours. No, 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 no. It gets worse. Everybody sit down. It, it gets worse, baby. Yeah. Because as soon as the bitch got off the bus and came to pimping that didn't take a dollar out of his pocket, uh, she got off with money. Not too much. But the bitch, you understand me, got off the bus with 600 Took the 600 and put it in the hands of the man that didn't have no money going out of his hands. Yeah. That's what happened. She sat up there and took the money. Watch this. Follow me. Sin, how do you know? How do T-Mac know? Yeah, man, because the nigga... Did the bitch decide to sit up there and get some money too? She called T Mac. He called T Mac. Hold on, this this pimpin calling T Mac. Hold on, I told you guys if, if if it's buffering, you know, tap out and tap back in. But you know what I mean? This pimpin calling T Mac. Hey, what's going on with it, man? Hey, 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 man, what's happening? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, the bitch told me about you, man. Yeah, man, I just want to tell you, man, thank you, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? Cause, yeah, I couldn't have did it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I could have did it, man, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I appreciate you, man, you know what I mean, for spending it, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I, man, I thank you, man. I'm so appreciative, man. Are you helping this young fine ass? You understand me, bitch? Get to me, man. Yeah, man, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Cause I couldn't do it, man. You know I wasn't gonna do it, man. You know what I mean? But you was such a blessing, man. You know what I mean? What type of nigga would I be, man, if I didn't sit up there, man, and thank the nigga, man, for being a blessing to the game, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for being a blessing to this game, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, hey, but is you cool though? Yeah, man. You know, it happens to the best of us, man. You know, it ain't happened to me yet, <laughs> but it happened to the best of us, man. You know what I mean? And it ain't happened to me, man. You know what I mean? And by the grace of this pivot, man, you know what I mean? Hopefully it don't, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, it happened to the best of us, man. You know what I mean? It is what it is, though, man. Yeah, but she told me some good things about you, though, man. You know what I mean? Stay up, man. Stay encouraged, man. You gonna knock one, P. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, I gotta get I gotta get off the phone, man. You know, I gotta get back to this bitch, man. I got some pimping to do, man. Some pimping, man. You know what I mean? Some cross-country motherfucking stuff down pimping, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know, but yeah, man, you have a blessed day, man. You keep being a blessing to the game. You keep being a blessing to the game, man. All right. <laughs> You know, and um, y'all over here dying, but hit the like button right now. Come on, man. It's 523 people. You know, hit the like button right now. Yeah, hit that like button right now, man. Stop playing with this game, man. I told y'all about that. We should have been over 300 likes by now. Yeah. Get that, get that motherfucker over 300 likes. Everybody hit that like button right now. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get them likes over 300. Go ahead and hit it. But, um. Uh, yeah, the game is cold, but it's fair, baby. I know that some of y'all like, damn, man, that's fucked up. Damn, T-Mac. Damn, y'all y'all feeling bad. I know. I know you feeling bad. You know what I mean? I know. But the game is cold, but it's fair, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's cold, but it's fair. You know? So I had to give that example of many examples you know, of uh, what we don't do. We not paying for Greyhound tickets. We not paying for plane tickets or none of that. Now, let me say this, though. Watch this. Now, if you a nigga that's holeless, doleless, you know, because let me say this. In every situation, you're not going to get a choosing fee. Okay. Let me say this again. You know, a lot of y'all, you know, if you if you holeless and doleless right now and you stand in a Motel 6 
or you stand in uh, Dave Rudolph Inn somewhere where your room is $45 and you only got $19 in your pocket and it's a bitch that's trying to get to you. She only got enough money to get to you. You know what I mean? Let the bitch get to you. Let me say it again. If you are holeless and doleless, okay? If you a holeless and doleless motherfucker right now, and it's a bitch that's willing to come to you, she only got enough money to get to you, you know what I mean? And you're in a fucked up circumstance, rather than you receiving jugs from other pimps, get it out the bitch, man. Tell the bitch to bring her big head ass on. If she got enough money to hop her ass on the motherfucking Greyhound to get to you, tell her big head ass to get to you so you can do some pimping. I'm going to say it again. If you holus and dolus, stand in the Super 8, your pockets ain't straight. You fucked up right now. Your situation is the best definition of fucked up. And you've been receiving jugs. And you got to wait on the next man to feed you. You, you, when you hungry, you got to wait on a pimp to, to take you somewhere so you can go eat. Uh, when you want to go to the blade, you got to wait till a pimp come pick you up. Hey, man, if you willing, if you endeavoring to get out that situation and you don't want to be in that situation no more. And if that bitch is willing to come to you, you know what I mean? Right now. And all she got is enough money to get to you. Let that big head ass bitch get to you. Let her get to you so you can sit up there and stump down and do some stump down pimping on her motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? And let me also say this. Okay. I'm going to give you this. You might. And I know that the, the enemy of the game, it come like that. Okay. Watch this. You might be in a hotel room or a weekly or monthly right now, and you only got a few hundreds. And you talking to this bitch from Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat. And you know that if you could get this bitch in your presence, that you could have the bitch. Okay? So the enemy right now, you know what I mean? You having thoughts like, man, you know, maybe I should pay for this ticket. You know what I mean? Man, this is a young, this is a chop. You know what I mean? Or this is a young Jewish bitch. You know, or this is an Australian bitch. You know what I mean? Or she, uh, you understand me? She might be uh, um, Ethiopian, whatever. You know what I mean? Guamalian, whatever. And, you know, man, this this fine-ass Russian bitch. Or she Samoan. You know what I mean? I know if I get this bitch, if all I got to do is see the bitch. I know if I could just lock eyes with this bitch, we could just meet, you know what I mean, face to face. I know I'm going to have this bitch. So should I pay for this ticket or should I not pay for this ticket? Damn. Let me tell you. I've been, you know what I mean, uh, in a situation like that before. But because I stuck to my guns, you know what I mean? I stuck according to the standards. I didn't do it. Watch me now. It was a broad that I was talking to. I was in Louisville at the time. Show you how the spirit of this game worked. See, the spirit of pimping and the spirit of tricking is two different ways. Okay? The spirit of tricking is going to compel you to take money out your pocket. And I'm not saying that you can't buy a woman a drink and all of that. By all means, be a gentleman. A gentleman that has the intentions to pimp. Tricks have the intentions to trick. Pimps have the intentions to pimp. I didn't, I didn't tell you that if a man sit up there and buy a woman you know, a drink or you know, if he sit up there and take a woman to a restaurant, that he's a trick. So don't leave out of here saying, ooh, sin said, oh, my God, you bought that bitch a dollar of uh, water? Oh, uh, nigga, you tricking. You ain't I didn't teach you that. I taught you that tricking, you understand me, is that's, that got something to do with the intent of heart. That's in your spirit. 
You got a, a, a motherfucking eternal deposit of tricking in you. It's in you to trick. Your intentions is to trick. The things that you say, the things that you do, it's an, it, you have the intentions of receiving fornication in exchange for the accumulation that you give. You know what I mean? So let me get back. When you, you know what I mean, uh, in this situation, when you are faced with this situation that I'm talking about, because I was in Louisville at the time, fucked up, and I was speaking to this particular broad. And I think at this uh, time, she was on her way. She was getting ready to go to New York, but she was in Boston, I believe, at the time. But she was getting ready to go to New York. And me and her was talking. You know what I mean? And at that time, we had met off of Facebook. You know what I mean? Some statuses and things like that. She liked a few statuses and the way I was popping it and everything like that. And she's like, man... I don't have no money right now, Sinful. Well, I really want to get to you. And it's, you know, it's slow out here. And, you know, you know how these bitches be making all these excuses on why they can't get no money and all of this shit. So this is what I tell her ass to do. Because she was a thick little white bitch. You know what I mean? Big old thighs. Booty like Tamika from the projects. Um, I said, have you forgotten that you are a white woman? She said, what do you mean by that? I said, man, not only are you a woman, but you're a white woman. You know what I mean? So how how do you not know how to get some money? I'm like, damn, you can't call none of your ex-boyfriends or you can't sit up there and call any of your family members and get a Greyhound ticket. Always remember, just like Freeze says, one of Freeze's famous quotes is, the smallest gestures speak the loudest volume. And that speaks the loudest volumes to me that this girl can't sit up there and call no family members or ex-boyfriend to pay for a Greyhound ticket. So that already speaks volumes. But anyway, I said, uh, this is what you're going to do. Go to the Greyhound. She said, but I ain't got no money. You know what I mean? She said, I ain't got no money. I said, don't worry about that. Go to the Greyhound. The bitch followed the instructions. She goes to the Greyhound. She said, what do you want me to say now? I said, listen, you're going to tell one of the representatives, you're going to pull him to the side and ask him, could you speak, speak to him? And I want you to tell him that you endeavoring to run away from your abusive boyfriend and you endeavoring to get back, you know what I mean, to your family because you want to go back to school. You want to go back to church. You don't want to involve the police. You don't want them in jail. You just want to get away. <clears throat> you tired of being hurt. You tired of physically being abused and you know what I mean? You just want to get away from this nightmare. You want to get back to school. You want to get back to church. You want to get back to serving God. You know what I mean? You didn't get into drug usage, you know, to hide away from the adversity that you're dealing with from your boyfriend and everything. So in order for you to get away from drugs and to get away from abuse and all of that, you need to be back at home with your grandmother. You know what I mean? And it'd be such a blessing if you guys can just give me a ticket because I don't have any money. All I have is courage and all I have is boldness and all I have is a desire to be a better woman and a better person. I don't want to be abused anymore. I want to go. I want to get home back to my family. Can you help me? And she followed me word for word, went to, <laughs> went to the representative, got her ass a free ticket. Got her ass a free ticket. She's like, oh, my God. She on the bus. Oh, my God. Seeing it worked. It worked. Oh, my God. Said, I can't believe it worked. Oh, my God. You're so smart. You're so smart. I was like, chill out, bitch. You know what I mean? But uh, I'll be here when you get here. I got things to do. Hit you later. <clears throat> but that just goes to show you that when there's gain, there's a way. When there is gain, you don't have to take your money out your pocket today. You know what I mean? When there is gain, there is a way. I didn't have to sit up there and pay for a ticket. I gave her instructions. She listened to me. She got a ticket. She ended up coming to Louisville. The rest is pavement history. I didn't pay for a ticket. 
I didn't sit up there, you understand me, and go to the grave. did none of that. I allowed the spirit of pimping to minister to me as I was talking, freestyle talking, nothing made up, nothing that I had to think about or anything like that, just right on the spot. You know what I mean? Life is so much better when you got game. Life is so much better when you got the information. Life is so much better, you understand me, when you can operate in the spirit of pimping. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the rest is pavement history. <laughs> the rest was the rest was 4th Street. Anybody ever been to Louisville know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the rest was 4th Street, man. You know what I mean? But that's that's another topic. But uh, many of you in that circumstance, you're going to take money out of your pocket to spend on a bus and plane ticket for this woman. When I gave you the strip club example and I told you guys we don't throw money on stage even to our own women. So even if my woman is on stage or my women are on stage, I'm not going to throw money on no stage simply because I don't want my reputation being evil spoken on. So I'm not going to make provisions for my reputation to be evil spoken on. So therefore, I won't be paying for any Greyhound and plane tickets. Okay? When you have watched, watch how beautiful this game is. The game is designed to protect you. Okay? Young pimp that's listening. The game is designed to protect you. I had a partner that did not pay for a plane ticket, bus ticket, or none of that. He told the bitch his choosing fee. He was not knowledgeable that the bitch that he was talking to was a snitch. He was ignorant of her being a snitch at the time that he had gave her the prerequisites you know what I mean? In order for her to be with him. He told her to get 10 bands. And once that she got 10,000, hit my line. That's what he told the bitch. Now watch this. Because of the standards of the game, because of the choosing fee, he's not locked up. He's not in nobody's jail. He's not in anybody's prison. Because that same bitch that he was ignorant of her being a snitch, she could have sat up there and snitched on him and he could have been in a correctional facility for an eternity. But because he charged his fee, because of the standards of the game, because he's pimping accordingly, that's why he's not in a correctional facility right now. The game was designed to protect you. The game was designed to basically for you to maintain your liberty in society. That's why there's rules in the game. So you won't fall victim of doing things contrary to the rules of the game. The game is designed to protect you. Follow the rules of the game. Okay? Because when you keep doing shit that's foul, guess what happens in the game when you do shit that's foul? You foul out. You foul out. You know what I mean? You foul out. You're going to be out of bounds with the game. You're going to have to sit down. Why? Because you fouled out. So follow the rules of the game. We're not paying for plane tickets. We're not paying for bus tickets. We're not doing none of that. That's a no-no. No. -no. no. We're not doing none of that. You know what I mean? Plane tickets, bus tickets, we not none of that. She got a pussy between her legs. The bitch can find a way. That bitch got a mouth. She got a pussy. She didn't have probably ex-boyfriends. You know what I mean? She got somebody that she can call and get some money from. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. You know what I mean? Follow the rules of the game so you can maintain liberty in society, pimp. The game was designed for you to maintain your freedom, okay? Just by following the rules and maintaining your standards, you will be in society, okay? So, okay, we didn't went from plane, bus, none of that. 
You know what I mean? And I'm going to say this. You got some guys, you know what I mean, that uh, pay for plane tickets, pay for bus tickets. And when they pay for these plane tickets, when they pay for these bus tickets, you didn't have individuals to maintain the bitch for years. Let me say it again. You've had guys to pay for plane tickets and bus tickets. And they've been having them for years. One one of the P's uh, that, you know, we don't agree on that because he does pay for plane and bus tickets. I don't. But it was a broad that was 17. Freeze know what I'm talking about. And... This bitch was 17 years old. And because she was 17 years old, I stopped talking to her. Okay? We don't have nothing to talk about. You're 17. Stay in church. Stay in school. Do what you're supposed to do. Stop talking to pimps. Stop following pimps on Instagram. Stop getting into the DM of pimps. You got a long way to go, baby. Stop doing that. Okay, leave the pimps alone. You know what I mean? Stay in church, get you a Bible, get in the word, get in, stay in school, do what you're supposed to do. That's what I told her. And when she turned 18, she came looking for me again. But she wanted me to pay for a plane ticket for her to come to me. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I said, as much as I would, you know, uh, love to sit down and talk to you, baby, I can't, uh, I can't pay for the ticket. You're going to have to work a job or you're going to have to call a friend or you're going to have to follow my instructions and go to the, oh my God, you want me to go to the Greyhound and do what? Oh no, I can't, I can't do that. No, I can't tell them that. I don't have no money. I can't do that. So the nigga that's in, because uh, uh, she was in Texas, and the nigga uh, that I'm talking about, he lives in Texas. You know what I mean? So they was just in different cities. He paid for the bus ticket. He ended up having the bitch. He still got her now. He still got her now. He still got her right now. Now, you know what I mean? In my eyes and in the eyes of the game, no, that wasn't right. And many of you are going to agree with that being right simply because as long as the outcome turns into an income, you're going to be in agreement with it because a big income came out of it. You're going to say, damn, look what so-and-so driving. Oh, damn, look at the house. Well, this must be pimping. Look at what he driving. Look what chain he got. Look what house he in. Man, you know what I mean? This, this got to be the pimpin. This got to be the horn. This got to be. By the way, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button right now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right now, along with hitting the bell. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell. Even go to channels. Click on channels. Subscribe to all my channels. But make sure you hit the like button. But you know what I mean? Yes, that's that's what uh, she she set up there and chose up with him. And I know that a lot of y'all, because of the pictures and the cars and the jewelry and the money that's been made, many of you are going to say, wow, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Wow. I don't know what seeing on. Sin was tripping. Yeah, man. Sin, sin was tripping, man. You know what I mean? Sin was really tripping, man. He didn't have this bitch for years. I couldn't do it. Okay? You guys can do it. You know what I mean? You guys could actually, you watching the game, sit back and enjoy. You guys can do it. But I couldn't pay for the ticket because of the standards. Okay? Because of the standards, the rules of this game. And like I told you, you never make provisions for your reputation to be evil spoken on. You know what I mean? Bro, just sit back and enjoy the game. Be quiet. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know what I mean? Many of you would have failed that test. 
You would have called. You would have called and said, yes, I paid for the ticket. Come, come through. I can't do that. We're not paying for plane tickets, bus tickets, or none of that. Let me also, uh, let me, let me sit up there and ask, uh, let me also see this. Hold on. Maj, you got to make sure everybody comments is showing that. There we go. If, if my motherfucking video is buffering, keep saying click out and come click back in. Yeah, click out and click back in. You know what I mean? You don't know what I'm about to ask John. Stop it. But because I you don't know what I'm about to ask, because I ain't even about to ask nothing. I'm about to say something. But another thing that we don't do, because that's the spirit of trick, you know what I mean? Follow me now. You know what I mean? Uh many of you will get a bra. And this is another thing we don't do. Say if me and Freeze, you know, uh wasn't as close. All right. And let's say that, you know, me and Freeze, we chopping it up. Uh, uh, and come to find out, I found out that this is Freeze work that's on the blade. We talking because that's what happens when you're on the blade chopping it up with pimping. If you stay around long enough, you're going to find out who's with who. You're going to find out, okay, okay, that's his work. Okay, that's his bit. There's some niggas, they be actually, these niggas are so weird. You got niggas actually, and that's another thing where I'm on what we don't do. Pimps don't tell other pimps like, hey, P, that's, yeah, P, that's my bitch. We don't do that. If you sweat one of mine's or one of Freeze or any one of my partners, man, sweat that bitch, man, till the rapture come. Sweat that bitch, man, till Adolf Hitler become, uh, come back as a good man. You know what I mean? Do that. But I'm never pimping that going. If we on the blade, I'm not going to say, AP, AP, A, 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 that's my bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you know that's my word. We don't do that. The pimping don't do lame ass shit like that. We don't do that. But okay, let's say me and Freeze is on the blade. And while me and Freeze is chopping it up, I find out who his bitch is. All right? And I sit up there and get at the bitch. Bitch get out of pocket. And I didn't I didn't broker for a hundred or two hundred dollars if you want to call that a breaker. And let's say within these days of me having the bitch, the bitch ain't been making no money. So I take the bitch, you know what I mean, to the mall and spend $2,000 on a purse, $3,000 on some heels. You know what I mean? And I said, yeah, she spoke for the Mac, the P. Uh, and I pay all of this money for this bitch attire, right? You know what I mean? And I'm paying for a Louis purse. I'm paying for the Louis dress. I'm, I'm getting her all Louis up. I done got her nails done. I done got her hair done. I done got all of this shit done, right? It's just that ain't no pimping been done. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Uh, not only have I not given Freeze a call, but this bitch ain't been making no money, and I spent money that she ain't gave me and money that I had from another hoe's ass to sit up there and put a tire on the bitch. You know what I mean? Let me ask y'all this. Is that pimping? Do you think that that's pimping? You know what I mean? I, I see certain peas up in here right now. Do you think that that's pimping? I done took another man's bitch. And I done set up there, you understand me, and made, oh, uh, and then, then watch this. Watch how the spirit of trick and sneak in. Oh, man, you know, my reputation, man. I couldn't have the bitch out here looking any kind of way. So, you know. Uh, I had to sit up there, you know what I mean, to get the bitch a Louis purse. You know what I mean? Uh, I got the bitch, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 yeah, you know, I got her a little bracelet, a little diamond bracelet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I believe in putting bitches in position, man. You know what I mean? When the bitch came to me, she didn't have a place. She was with Freeze. Freeze had a, you know, staying in a resort. You know what I mean? I, I took the bitch 
You know what I mean? And I, I, I put her in her own apartment, man. Yeah, yeah, I took the bitch, man. I put her in the apartment, man. The rent, the rent ain't that much, man. The rent only forty three hundred a month. I only paid four months in advance, you know. So I, I paid four months in advance, right? You know, uh, I, I, I bought the bitch a little Camaro, you know, no, nothing special, just a little Camaro. Put some little shoes on it, you know. I put some little twenty twos on her little Camaro, you know what I mean? And uh, you know. I, I paid for her little apartment, you know what I mean, and, and everything, you know what I mean? You know, it ain't nothing but some pimping going on, you dig? Uh, yeah, 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 you know, R-P-G-O, you know, real pimping going on. And so I got the bitch Louie up, hair done, nails done, you know what I mean, got the bitch in the apartment, you know what I mean? Uh, she really, you know, living good around here, you know what I mean? Like when she was with Freeze, you know what I mean? She wasn't doing all that. You know, I'm I'm here for elevation. I elevated the bitch, right? And uh, you know, I I I put women in position because you know that's what I do. Now, is this pimping or is this the spirit of tricking? Answer me. Is this the pimping or is this the spirit of tricking? Are we remember what I told you the spirit is? I taught you that a spirit is what? What I what I, I said it not too long ago. What is a spirit? Somebody type in the definition that I gave you for what a spirit is. <laughs> that nigga Tony just said unseen. <laughs> uh huh. Some y'all got bits and pieces. Come on now, it's a small definition now. This is a definition that was given by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Years ago. Years ago. There's many definitions of spirit. You can look in the biblical dictionary right now. Webster's Collegiate Dictionary going to tell you an attitude or something like that. You know what I mean? But a spirit is a what? A unseen reality that's manifested in matters that seem. So we're seeing the spirit of tricking being manifested in that situation. Why? Because, you know what I mean? He's, he's just, his intent, he thinks that by buying all of this, watch me now. He thinks that by getting an apartment, getting the jewelry, getting the attire, he thinks that he locking her in. You know what I mean? He thinking that, you know what I mean? Uh, he think that he locking her in. He think that he getting ready to get a run out the bitch because of what he spent on the bitch. Now, of course, I'm not, you know, speaking down on sauce and I'm not speaking down on lace. You know, these are two black men that had a misunderstanding Publicly, you know what I mean? And what was sad is you guys seen sauce go against lace, lace go against sauce, and and and, and for what? White bitch got too much attention. Gave this big head, funky ass white bitch all this motherfucking attention for what? You guys seen sauce and lace have a misunderstanding publicly and you seen this white bitch get famous she got all of this and she ain't even I ain't doing no hate people people that know her, her stats ain't even like that stats ain't even like that to get all the attention that she got her whole stats ain't even like that didn't deserve none of that none of that attention you know what I mean 
So, you know, uh, Lace and Sauce had a misunderstanding publicly. Two black men having a misunderstanding. And the white bitch is in the middle just getting all of this damn attention. Uh, Sauce was wrong. I, you know, that that was because... Truth be told, a lot of y'all was like, oh, but she came with the money, though. She came with the money. She came with the money, though. She ain't came with that money. But that's another story. Come on, man. Follow the spirit of pimping. She didn't come with that money. Knock it off. <clears throat> Have the spirit of discernment. Allow the game to minister to you. Open your eyes. Bitch didn't come with that goddamn money. Open your eyes. So you can see shit for what it is. When a person hollering and screaming, that's why it's so easy to convince black people that two plus two is five because they black people are people of uh, of emotions. Black people are the embodiment of emotionalism. So as long as you say something with passion, you can say two plus two is five, and they, they black people are like woo. So when you get past all the the screaming. And all of the laughing, you know what I mean, on there, then you'll realize that, no, she didn't come with that. That was sauce money. Sauce was just, you know, being sauce. And lace was being lace, you know. And they had a misunderstanding publicly. And it was sad that two black men was having a misunderstanding publicly. And this white bitch got all of this publicity and she don't even make currency like that. But by Lace having the position that he's been blessed to have, he used his position to see uh, to use his position to try to get this white bitch in possession. See, I know some of y'all mentality. Some people's mentality is I'm not saving the hoe. I'm enslaving the hoe, meaning that I don't mind putting her in a car that in, that's in my name or I don't mind putting her in a house that's in my name you know what I mean because it's a company car or it's a company house so when the bitch blow up she don't blow up with the car she don't blow up with the house all of that still with me only problem is, only problem with that is when you dealing with a bum they don't appreciate shit when you dealing with a bum that didn't earn shit, because this is the thing, you didn't earn it. Bitches that don't earn it, they don't appreciate it. You giving the bitch the heaven treatment, and the bitch ain't did nothing on earth to deserve that. Spirit of tricking. That is this, I, I'm not calling Lace a trick, but that situation had the spirit of tricking in it. Yes, it did, greatly. Whenever you use your position to have a woman to have her in possession and just to maintain the bra, you spend in currency with the intent of having this bitch for longevity just because you spent the currency that you spent on her. The spirit of tricking is in this situation. That is the spirit of tricking. Anytime where your intent is to take a woman who hasn't done no hoeing to deserve that attire, to deserve that apartment, to deserve that development. She ain't did nothing on the pavement. To get none of that, she didn't earn it. And because she did not earn it, she didn't appreciate it. Lace is a great man that did a great thing for a bum. They had the spirit of tricking in it. When you do things for a bum that didn't do anything to earn it, you get the results of that. What did you see in, in that? You seen sauce hollering and screaming, and you seen the bitch sitting down, smiling, and she was, first of all, she was looking like, you know, why am I doing this? Because within her mind, she knew she shouldn't have even been there either. It's just that certain niggas position is so big that a little small bum or a little bitch, 
she gonna be intimidated. She about to run away from this. She ain't even done nothing to earn to be around all of this. The situation is too great. Oh my God, yeah, he, he gonna expect too much. Expectations is not that big. I gotta go somewhere where the expectations is lower than this. You know what I mean? I done seen this bitch, I done seen this bitch, I done seen him do this. This situation is too great to me. I'd rather go back where, you know, I'm going to leave. You remember that situation that, uh, that Dre told you about when that bitch sat up there and came to his mansion and she said that she wanted to be big? And Dre asked, are you sure you want to be big? Yeah, I want to be big. And Dre brought her over to the mansion and that bitch seen the paintings and she seen all the Versace shit that was all in Dre's house. And she said she didn't want to be big no more. Situation was too big. Bitch had the mentality of a fucking bum. So because she had the mentality of a fucking bum, this situation was too great. It was too big. I didn't know you was pimping like this. I didn't know that you was on this level. I knew that you was cool, but I didn't know that you was on this level. I didn't know that your hoes was Harvard University hoes. I'm used to doing community college shit. Not this Harvard University type of horn. Uh, uh This is just too much. God said that he wouldn't put nothing on me that I can't bear. And baby, this is too much. I'm gone. She wasn't ready. Listen, certain bitches is not going to be ready for all that. She not only is she not ready, but she don't want it. You cast them pearls before swine. Leave that shit alone. Now, getting back, you know, to what I was saying, you know, in that situation between, you know, the two black brothers, the two black men that had a misunderstanding publicly and this white bitch getting all this goddamn attention, you know what I mean? And blessings to the both of them because, you know, sauce make good music and I spoke to Lace a few times, man, he's a good guy. Uh, but, you know, I want to say that you know, that could have been avoided. That situation could have been avoided. How could that situation been avoided, sin? By following the rules of the game. You know what I mean? We have to make women appreciate it. We all make mistakes. We all do things contrary to the game. So it was no need of many of y'all. Ooh, sin, when you going to do a video about sauce and lace? Sauce and lace, see, ooh, make a video about, ooh, ooh, everything ain't for social media. And that situation wasn't for social media. I wish it would have never even happened. You know what I mean? So, you know, it is what it is. But many of y'all, and y'all know if I would have made a video, yeah, it would have been a lot of views. You know what I mean? But fuck the views, what about the game? So, you know what I mean? No, I didn't like it because it was two black men and I'm seeing this big head white bitch that don't even be getting money like that. You know, her stats is being lied on. She being magnified and all that. Like, man, this bitch a bum. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why I didn't do no uh, video for that. The bitch that got enough publicity, you know what I mean? That situation that got enough publicity, I ain't even want nothing to do with it. It is what it is. But blessings to both of those black men. Um, but we don't do that. We don't buy bitches. Let me say this again. We don't buy bitches. Some of you, when you get in a position of power, the spirit of tricking is just so overbearing that it just takes over you. You know what I mean? Some of you niggas, when you pull up on bitches now, you don't even pimp at them. You don't even pimp up no more. You don't even endeavor to say anything you know what I mean? That's pimpish. You don't even say anything about your pimping no more. Everything that you're saying in a conversation now is about what you're presiding over as far as materialistics. I've seen niggas get in position, and once they get in position on the track, they'll be driving up and down, and if, as soon as they sitting over there talking to the bitch, yeah, you know what I mean? I don't even know why you here. You know what I mean? And bitches know what I'm talking about. You got these niggas when they drive up and down on the track. This is what they, I don't even know why you here. You know what I mean? If, if I had you, you wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't even be here. You know what I mean? You ain't got no business being on Figueroa. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no business even being, 
you know, over here. See, if I had you, you would have that little motherfucking flower in your head in Hawaii saying aloha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bitch, get that aloha in your life. Yeah, bitch, I got a motherfucking condo in Hawaii with your name already on the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a car already rating. Yeah, that 7 Series is calling your name, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get off this motherfucking crackhead-ass track. You know what I mean? Go to Hawaii where it's really at, bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, bitch, I got a condo with your name already on it. Yeah, that 7 Series already got your name on it, bitch. Yeah, that Louis Attire already got your name on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, real talk. You know what I mean? So while you sitting up here walking back and forth up and down on the track, getting inside in motherfucking vehicles trying to make miracles on this crackhead ass track, bitch, you need to sit up there and get up in this motherfucking car and talk to a pimp one time. That's what you need to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk. Yeah, let's hit that. Yeah, let's hit that 808, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah things ain't straight here, but we go to that 808 and get it straight down there, baby. Yeah, we're going to get that money down there, baby. Come on. Yeah, I already got that Louis and that Gucci already with your name on it. You shouldn't even be wearing that. See, that nigga don't even know how to dress you. You know what I mean? I done already bought clothes. That's how I know that you my bitch. You know what I mean? Because I was in the Louis store. You know what I mean? And it was like God was just ordering me to just buy shit up in the Louis store. I was like, man, why am I buying this purse? Why am I buying this ring? Why am I buying this shit? Why am I buying all of it? Why am I buying all of these scarves for a woman? You know what I mean? So I got motherfucking Louis purses and scarves and all of that shit. You know what I mean? I don't even know why I bought all of this shit. You know what I mean? And I ain't even know, you know what I mean? I was going to see the answer tonight. Yeah, you the answer. You know what I mean? That shit got your name on it. Woo. Uh, everything that I said, this is an abomination. But you got niggas that saying shit like that in their conversation when they getting at the bitch. Ain't saying nothing about no pimping, none of that, trying to buy the bitch. We don't buy the bitch. Pimping does not buy the bitch. We don't try to sit up there and got your name on it. That's the spirit of tricking. It got your name. How does it got her name on it? She ain't done no hoeing. She ain't sit up there and got out of pocket and put something in your pocket. How does anything got her name on it? You know what I'm saying? How anything got her motherfucking name on it? Nigga, you tripping. Got her name on it. No, it don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know, I got, I got that 7 Series with your name on it. And some of y'all laughing, but a lot of you niggas be saying this shit, you know what I mean, on the blade to these hoes. You niggas be saying this shit to, to these hoes on the blade. You be saying this shit. You know what I mean? Pimps don't talk like that. This is unpimpish and it got the spirit of tricking within it. We don't talk like that. As a man think it, so is he. If you think like a trick, you gonna talk like a trick. If you talk like a trick, you gonna walk like a trick. If you walk like a trick, talk like a trick, have thoughts like a trick, you a trick. And like I said in the beginning, nobody's book, video is going to save you. That's what you are. And there's nothing wrong with being a trick. Stop allowing these pimps and wannabe pimps and max to criticize and minimize you. Because like I said, tricks ain't getting a million years for tricking. But damn near every nigga that's professing to be pimps, they the ones getting a million years and then some for this pimping. You know what I mean? So it's benefits and it's consequences to everybody's role in the game. But just play yours. Don't get into a car accident getting in the wrong lane, man. That's how people get into incidents and accidents by getting in the wrong lane. Stay in your lane. You know what I mean? If you a trick, you know you done tricked before, you know you a seasoned trick, you know you a veteran trick, or if you, even if you just trick one time, stay in your lane. You are not going to go from no trick to no pimp. 
Do not let them niggas deceive you just so you can spend fifteen and twenty dollars on their little biography. You know what I mean? Making you think that after you read this, the spirit of tricking gonna be out of you. No, it's not. That's in you. That's the spirit that's within you. You're governed by that. You're controlled by the lust of your eyes and the lust of your flesh and the pride of life. The spirit of lust is within you. And because you are governed by the spirit of lust, you're going to continue to spend every green dollar that's saying, God, we trust simply because the spirit of tricking is within you. You are an ordained trick. So don't try to get outside of your lane. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Uh, Another thing, like I said, man, these hours really don't be long enough. It's so the spirit of tricking is just so big. You know what I mean? But some of you, you got to watch yourself. Yeah, I mean that. Watch yourself. Some of y'all got baby mamas. You know what I mean? That you had before you got in the game. All right. Watch where I'm going now. Some of you got a baby mom and some of y'all got baby mamas. Before you got in the game and they squares or she's a square. OK, now you have a responsibility to be a father to your child. You need to be doing the things that's vital to the title of being a father to your child. I understand that when you're in the game, when you're really in the game, this pimping is 24 seven. You know what I mean? When you in the game. You're not going to be able to be omnipresent with your child. No, you're not. You know what I mean? Sacrifices got to be made so bills can be paid, so children can be taken care of, family, you know what I mean, could be taken care of. But watch this. When you got a baby mama that you didn't have before the game and she's a square, do not allow the bitch to have more game than you you know what I mean? And manipulate you, you know what I mean? Into thinking that she need this, she need that, and she need this, and she need that. You know, if she don't got, you know, the job to provide that, encourage her, compel her to do whatever she need to do. You know what I'm saying? But taking money out of a hoe's ass, you know what I mean? To take care of your baby mama, you're supposed to take care of your child, but some of you niggas is really catering to your baby mama. And the spirit of tricking is in that too. You better watch this. I told you this shit is deep. Hit that like button right now. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button right now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe channel right now. Hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the bell. Click. Make sure you click on that bell. Make sure you uh, click on the like. Uh, if you haven't shared this video after the video ends, make sure you share it. But the spirit of tricking is within that too. Tony, do me a favor. Put the link to my website in too. But you know what I mean? Uh, the spirit of tricking is in that. And before you know it, you know what I mean? Your baby mama will be playing with you. Yeah, some of y'all, some of your baby mamas then played with you too much because you got the spirit of comfortability with your baby mama. You know what I mean? Seeing what you mean by that. The bitch that say, she say things like, Oh my God, well you you still sitting over there playing with them dumb little hoes? Oh my God, I don't know how they do it, but it is what it is. What you got for us today? Yeah, how much money we got? How much money we got? And some of y'all, oh bitch, you gone somewhere. Oh girl, oh man, go on, man, stop, man, get man, stop playing. <laughs> That's nothing to play about. She say, how much we got? Bitch sitting over there doing the Debo with you. I got $500. Huh? No, I got $200. Bitch doing the Debo with you. I got $200. You know what I mean? We don't play, we don't play with no bitch like that. We don't do that. Some of y'all is allowing the spirit of tricking, you understand me, into your home, and you don't even know it. You know what I mean? We do not sit up there and take money out the whole ass or the money out of hoe's ass to sit up there and take care of your square ass baby mama. Uh-uh. Totally contrary. 
you take care of your child or you take care of your children. You know what I mean? But to continuously, I could see if she was on hard times or whatever. You know what I mean? You do, but but to keep on sitting over there, you know what I mean? Uh, taking the money. This is backwards. You take the money from out the hoes ass and then you turn right back around and you take the trap that you got from a hard working hoe. Because some of y'all, you be taking these hoes for granted. Not realizing what that woman had to do for that money. Not realizing that this woman just was out, you know what I mean, from 7 o'clock at night to 8, 9 in the morning for that six or $700 that everybody like to get on the internet and lie and say they checked over 1000 every day. But, yeah, that bitch sat up there and had to stay down sometimes from 7 at night to 5 in the morning to 8 in the morning to 9 in the morning for 6 and $700, $800. You know what I mean? Stay down for it. And because you didn't appreciate it, you take the money and you sit up there, you understand me, not just buying clothes and toys and stuff for your child or children, but you actually put money in your baby mama hands for her to go shopping. On some TI, you can have whatever you like type shit. You know what I mean? And we don't do that. That's the spirit of tricking. We do not do that. Baby mama got to go get a job. Baby mama needs to go to school or do whatever she needs to do uh, to have a career. Because pimping ain't sitting over here pimping on these hoes so the baby mama could do some pimping on some pimping. Not at all. Let me say that again. Pimping ain't pimping on this hoe or pimping on these hoes and then turn back around and let your square ass baby mama, you know what I mean, that you had a baby with before you got in the game, sit up there, you understand me, and do some pimping on you. No. Bitch, I'm not uh, pimping to get pimped on. No. That ain't pimping. That ain't it. That's got the spirit of tricking in it. We don't do that. That's the spirit of tricking. Another thing, let me make this very, I touched on it, but I want to make sure that I've indoctrinated your mind the way that it needs to. Check this out. We don't call websites acting like tricks. Let's say that again. The pimping don't call websites, trick websites, and acting like a trick. Okay? The pimping, no, I want to make that very, I did, you know, I did some, uh, gave you examples, but I want to make sure that that's in your head. The pimping does not call, back page is gone, but they got other dating sites and websites up now. The pimping does not call websites. Get girls numbers for certain hoes on websites acting like a trick. And when you meet the bitch physically in person, then act like the pimping. Pimping don't do that. We don't do that. That's a no-no. You know what I mean? Another thing pimping don't do. Pimping don't be trying to trick the bitch. Let me say it again. Pimping don't trick the bitch. Meaning that <clears throat> when you sitting over there, you know what I mean, going up and down the blade, and that bitch, because you got some bitches that's green as a pool table. You got some bitches that's been in the game a year, some years, and they still conduct themselves like this their first night out. So you got some bitches that's actually going to walk up to a Cadillac or S550 on them things with a nigga suited and booted in the car. You know, a nigga that's suited and booted in the car or suited and booted in a limo. And the bitch might sit up there and actually walk up with her green ass and look inside and say, you know what I mean? Uh, what you trying to do, you know? And not just that, you can't even fault some of these bitches for doing that because some of these bitches has actually dated niggas with jewelry on. They got bitches on the blade. Some of these bitches have had, so they don't know. So if a bitch has actually dated a nigga, because you ain't never dated, let me make this plain to you so-called hoes. 
You've never dated a pimp. Y'all need to stop saying that shit on social media and in the streets. You have never dated a pimp. I'm going to teach you how to properly speak. Stop making statuses or posting on uh, Instagram or even outside around your uh, renegade buddies or your so-called hoe partners talking about that you dated a pimp. You never dated a pimp because if you dated him, that means that he's not a pimp. You cannot date a pimp. A pimp is not going to date you. Why? Because the spirit of pimping within him won't even allow him to do something that that motherfucker abominable. Tricking to a pimp is like a homosexual act. Let me say it again. Tricking to a pimp is like a homosexual act. A, a pimp taking money out of his pocket and putting it in the hand of a bitch in exchange for sex. It's like a homosexual act, something that he's never going to get involved in. OK. Calling a pimp a trick is like calling a man a bitch. It's the worst thing you can call a pimp. You trick ass nigga. You want your teeth knocked out your mouth. You know what I mean? But let me make that very plain. You have never dated a pimp. What you should say is. I, I have dated a lot of counterfeits. I've dated some hypocrites. I reaped off the benefits of hypocrites and counterfeits. I dated a man that professed to be a pimp. That's what you should say. I've dated some guys that profess to be a pimp, but didn't possess no pimping. I've dated a guy who professed to be a pimp and presided over women in the game, but you know what I mean? He wasn't a pimp. But never say that you dated a pimp. You cannot date a pimp. Pimps don't date hoes. Pimps don't go on no dates. You know what I mean? Pimps break hoes from the dates that they did. But pimps don't go on dates. Stop saying that dumbass shit. Another thing. Because I'm just getting shit out. I'm going through everything. Because I already know after this end, I'm going to be like, damn, I should have said that, that, that. I want to make sure that this is understood. You know what I mean? Pimps don't do that. Pimps don't do no tricking. Pimps ain't paying for lap dances. Pimps ain't uh, spending hundreds of dollars to go to the boom boom room to get a lap dance or a fuck or an interview. Pimping ain't paying for interviews. Pimp don't pay for interviews. Pimps pimp for interviews. Bitches desire to have an interview with the pimping, but pimps don't take money out their pocket and pay for a damn uh, interview. You know what I mean? We don't do that. So, you know what I mean? Uh, as far as the dating websites or pulling up, you know what I mean, on a, uh, a, a bitch and playing like you a trick, pimps don't do that. So if he pull up acting like he's a trick and he pulled up on you and he acted like he was a trick, talked like a trick to deceive you into getting into the car because he put you under the impression that he gave you the impression that he was a trick. He spoke trick language. You know what I mean? To get you in the car. And now that you in the car, now he want to change it up. No. That's that that's that's tricking. That we don't do that. That's wrong. You know what I mean? Now, if the bitch just get in the car because she's so green, that's on her green dumb ass. But if he put it out there and says that he's a trick or professes to be a trick, and he allows the woman to get in the car off the false pretenses, which is really true in uh pretenses. You know what I mean? Uh, in disguise, because he really is a trick, whether he knows it or not, because the spirit is there. Any nigga that's willing to even play like a trick, the spirit of tricking is so serious that any nigga that's willing to play like a trick, act like a trick, he is a trick. He just not has it manifested, but it's in him. If the right woman comes along, she going to get his ass. 
Any nigga that play like a trick, any nigga that play talk like a trick to a bitch, if the right bitch come along, she going to seduce and reduce his ass for everything that he got. Because it's in his ass. It's in him. He just hasn't had the right woman to come in front of him to manifest that demon in him. But the, that demon of tricking is in him. That spirit is there. He just not hasn't met the right attractive woman of his preference, you know what I mean, to manifest that in him, to get that out of him. But it's in there. Because any nigga that sit up there and play with that, you know what I mean, even play with that, you know what I mean, situation, you know what I mean, he got the spirit of tricking in him. He does. He got the spirit of, uh, of tricking all the way uh, in him. You know what I mean? He just ain't met the right bitch. He a trick and don't even know it. You know what I mean? It's almost like certain niggas like, man, I wasn't a pimp at the time. You know what I mean? But then the game chose me. Right. He's he's a trick. The game of tricking is going to choose him. You know what I mean? In this appointed time. But he's a trick. He's a trick. You know what I mean? Any nigga that even pull up on the track talking like a trick to deceive a woman into getting in the car off the false pretenses of her thinking that he is a trick, he's a trick. Even if it's, but seeing he ain't giving no money, he a trick. Seeing he didn't fuck, he's a trick. Because see, you operating in that spirit of deception. And tricks got deception. You know what I mean? Don't get it fucked up. Tricks got game too. Tricks didn't had enough experiences with hoes they got game as well. They got trick game. And within that trick game is deception, manipulation in that. You know what I mean? So don't get it fucked up. You know what I mean? The tricks got game too. And it's deception within that. See, the pimping, the game is the truth. That trick shit, it got trickery in it. Deception in it. The pimping is a man. In order to be a man, you have to be the truth. In simplicity, that's what a man is. The truth don't change. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, the truth always remains the same. In simplicity, the man is the truth. Ain't no trickery. I'm not going to pull up on you or call your web, uh, get your number off a website acting like a goddamn trick. That's false flag, and I'm not into that. Scripture says God hates every false way. I'm not involved in that. That's deception. That's trickery. I don't want to con you. Who the fuck are you for me to con you? Con you for what? I'm the pimping, bitch. So that's the mentality of a pimp. I'm not going to lie to you. Who are you? You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie to you. What for? For some money? Bitch, I'm higher than that. I'm higher than you. I'm higher than the money that come from your pussy. It's a privilege for it's a privilege for you to even offer me. You know what I mean? It's a privilege for me to even speak to you. What I got in my mind is the map to the location called success. You choose whether or not you want to follow. That's not equivalent to this game. You know what I mean? I, you know how I get fired up. But the spirit of tricking. I taught you that, you know what I mean? The spirit of tricking is an unseen reality that is manifested in matters that's seen. And even though we can't see a, a tricking ghost, a ghost that's, you know, a tricking angel. No, we can't see that. But we can see you throwing them racks on stage. We can see you pulling up on these bitches acting like a trick or uh, getting numbers off of tricking whole websites, calling bitches up like you a trick. We see it manifested in these matters. We see you sitting over there, you know what I mean, trying to buy a bitch. You know what I mean? We see you trying to buy the bitch. We don't buy bitches. Pimps don't buy bitches. Pimps pimp on hoes. Pimps don't buy hoes. We don't do that. That's a no-no. That's completely contrary. So we've learned 
where the spirit is. We learn where the trick is. We learn, you understand me, what you don't do. Especially if you professing to be this pimping. You know what I mean? Pimps ain't out here buying pussy. Pimps ain't out here buying action to have a transaction out of a bitch. We not paying for interviews. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't do that. But let me say this before I end this video. This video was not made to minimize the character of a trick. If anything, I love you, I respect you, and I appreciate you, okay? We will never, dis I don't disrespect tricks, for it is a privilege, it's a position that you have a power to do whatever you want to do with your money. And if you desire to spend your money on this woman, hold on, on this woman, so you don't have to put on an Oscar Award performance like many boyfriends do, because a lot of these guys, if they had the power that a, a, a powerful trick has, if they had the position of a wealthy trick, a lot of these guys wouldn't even be a damn boyfriend. Y'all have seen that video before. A lot of these guys is boyfriends to these women because they can't afford to be a trick that they want to be. Okay? That nigga is your boyfriend because he can't afford to be the trick that he desires to be. Once he gets in a position of a wealthy trick, he ain't going to even want to fuck with you no more. Because now he has the power to get as many bitches as he wants. It's an art to tricking. He loves to trick. It's in him to trick. He wants more money so he can have more power to get more bitches to trick on. He receives gratification just from spending accumulation on fornication. He's a trick. This is what he does. Oh, he loves me. Oh, he likes me. Oh, he's, in, he's, he's so in love with me. You know what I mean? And your gullible, feeble-minded, absent-minded ass, if you want to believe that, you can believe that. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying every boyfriend. But there is a great population of boyfriends that if you was to make them wealthy right now and put them in a position of power, they don't going to be in no relationship. Why? Because he don't have to play that love shit no more. He don't have to kiss your feet no more. He don't have to ask you how your day was. He don't give a fuck how your day was. Fuck your day. Oh, your mama died? That's what's up. Oh, your feet hurt? Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Oh, you lost your job? Yeah, that's what's up. Nigga want to get his dick up. Motherfucker want to bend that ass over and fuck the shit out of you. He can care less how your day going. Fuck your day. Fuck how you feel. Fuck all of that shit. Fuck who done died in your family. Fuck all that. Bend over, bitch, or suck this dick. That is the mentality of these men. But they have to conform into that boyfriend shit. Just so he can get some pussy. You know what I mean? So he's playing an Oscar award winning role. Simply because he can't afford to pay for the pussy hole. Because he don't have the bank hole to do it. Come on now. Some of y'all know I'm telling the truth. But you don't want to agree with it. Some of y'all. You, you know what I mean? You're attesting. You're agreeing with the truth. But some of y'all know right now. If you was to win the lottery. Or if you got a settlement, or you got a lawsuit, or you got an inheritance, or you came up on whatever, you wouldn't be in no relationship. Or and if you is going to be in a relationship, it ain't going to be just one. Now that you got the position of power, now you get to just sleep and have sex with all the women you want to. You ain't got to lie no more. Yeah, I love you. I want you. I want to be with you. I don't see nobody but you. You ain't got to say none of that Nickelodeon Love Jones, Sleepless in Seattle, Ass, you understand me, shit no more. All that love and basketball, brown sugar, disappearing act shit, inkwell shit, you ain't got to say that shit no more. Because now you're in the position of a trick. And watch this, before I leave, you got some niggas in the game that's pimping, well, I ain't going to say pimping, but they sending, they, they instructing, Sending and receiving just to get in position of power so they could be the tricks that they always desired to be.
Huh, I'm saying? Yes, you got niggas that's presiding over women in the game, saving up their money, making the right investments so in the future they can get in a position of power just so they can be the tricks that they always desire to be. And I know that's cold. You like, wait a minute. So he was in the game for 10 years, 15 years, 25 years. He was going cross country and he put all of them women on the track, sent them in back and forth inside the casinos for all of them years just to sit up there and have enough money to get in a position of power just so he could be a trick. So in reality, he was a trick the whole time. The spirit of tricking was always in him. It was always there. How is it so easy for a lot of these guys? I ain't saying everybody. You know what I mean? Shouts out to my big brother Dre from uh, my big brother from another mother. You know him and his wife. I love that. You know, but and then you got some other retired pimps. You got um, you got uh, what's P's name? They've been together for almost forty years. I think Hook the Crook. Hook the Crook is married. He married his hoe. He married his hoe. You know what I mean? Uh, some got married to squares. Some got married to hoes. You know what I mean? But I said all that to say this. Everybody, it ain't about that. How, how, how did some of these guys go from being 10 deep, 15 deep, 20 deep, or been in this game 15 years, 20 years, 30 years? And they had dominion over women for decades and relinquished the power, relinquished the dominion. You know what I'm saying? Relinquished the dominion to have over women, all to make a covenant with a square bitch that never sat up there and walked the motherfucking green mile for hostile and sat up there and put her life in danger and sed seduced and reduced strangers in honor of this man's pimp. How did he go from 15 years, 20 years, 25 years of having total dominion over women and said, I don't want it no more and went for equality? Because some of these guys don't have dominion in their marriage. Some of these guys really got some equality going on. They got that motherfucking Iceberg Slim shit going on. Where you seen Iceberg Slim, you seen what his wife said. Yeah, he tried to talk that pimp stuff. I said, don't you talk to me like that. I'm your wife. You respect me. Some of them niggas got that iceberg slim shit going on in their marriage. So how did you go from having dominion over women for years and decades, and then you just leave that to now you working a job and you taking money from that job to take care of your wife? You got two jobs. You, you used to be five deep, ten deep. And you went from being five deep, ten deep, ten years, ten years. Went from that to now you got a J-O-B. You know what I'm saying? You got a job. And you got jobs as in plural. And now you combining them just to take care of your bitch, to take care of your wife. Come on now. I know that's going to cut some of y'all favorite people. I know that that's set up there and that's bothering you within your mind, but I got to come through here with this game before I get up out of here. How did you go from being 5 deep, 10 deep, 10, 15, 20 years, and then all of that just to have a job to take care of a square woman that ain't never hit the blade for you, never sit up there and went to the motherfucking fish tank for you, never made deposits in the bank for you. The reason why that was so easy, because the spirit of tricking was already in you. It was in you from the beginning. Come on now. It was there all the time. See, because when something is really rooted in you, when something is really down and in you, down on the inside, when you really got that deposit of pimping in you, you don't go from having dominion in the game, to leave in the game and have an equality with this woman in this, in this marriage. We don't do that. Why? Because the spirit of Pippa would have never allowed you to do that.
And that don't go for everybody, marriage, because like I said, you got some men that's doing it according to the word. They the man of the relationship. They the husband. They they lead. They the leader. But like I said, most of them really got. I ain't gonna say most, but a great population of these niggas got that iceberg slim shit where the bitch can talk to them any kind of way. You know what I mean? She eye level with the man. You know what I mean? All of that shit. They don't got that Dre shit. They got that iceberg slim shit. You know what I mean? That's what they got. It's the difference now. Follow me. And the reason why it was so easy for them to stop being involved in that, in the lifestyle of Pippin and Horn, and then got involved in a marriage and evolved within the marriage that got a lot of equality is because the spirit of tricking was already there. Many of you have a bitch right now. Many of you have bitches. You know what I mean? But you sometimes contemplate on what your square life would have been if you would have never gotten the game. Some of you even contemplate about leaving the game, not because you graduated or elevated to another plateau or accomplished anything, but you contemplate about being on the other side because your heart is really on the other side. But you put on a facade as if you're something that you're not. It's a terrible thing to die living a lie. Give up this pimping. A lot of you guys, you're going to end up going to jail and prison and lose 10 and 20 years out your life for impersonating a pimp. And even though the charges say human trafficking or living off the earnings of prostitution, but the true charge really should have been impersonating a pimp. Don't die impersonating a pimp. Don't die living a lie. Let this video minister to you. Let these words minister to you. If you having trick thoughts, if you really wish sometimes that you, you wonder how your square life would have ended, you know what I mean? You sometimes think about, you know, what life would have been if you would have married your high school sweetheart. Then I'm here to tell you that you should give this up and go look for your high school sweetheart and go marry her. Trick. But I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Make sure you hit the like button. I want everybody right now to hit the like button. Matter of fact, give me over 400 likes. Since it's damn near 450 people in here, hit the like button right now. Hit the share button right now. I appreciate you guys. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you, you took time out your day for over three hours to listen to my big head ass talk about this game. And I appreciate this. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Make sure you go to my website, www.sinfultheep.net. Make an appointment. It definitely won't be a disappointment. Appointments with me is filled with a bunch of uncommon information and exhortation and inspiration as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like. I see you guys later on. I love you. Make sure you uh, go to uh, Andre Taylor. Uh, Gorgeous Dre is going live uh, later today at 6 o'clock. Type in Andre Taylor. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you go to Freeze Is It. Let's hurry up and get Freeze over 10,000. F-R-E-E-Z-E-I-Z-I-T. Freeze Is It. Go over there. Hit the subscribe button. You know what I mean? I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful night. You know what I mean? Tricks, keep on tricking. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody discourage you from tricking. Be yourself. You know what I mean? Don't die being anybody else. I love you guys. Be blessed. Until we meet again. Shalom.